family, but I am invested in that story. Well, I am for too, because, reason. you know, they wanted to escape the public eye, but now she won't come out and, like, do an interview. Yeah. yeah. And they, well, she may be recovering from health issues. She's supposed to come out at Easter service, is her next. Is that uh, what they're saying? Appearance. Yeah. Damn, good job, though, eh? Yeah. So, uh, abdominal surgery. I don't know how intensive it was. They said it's not cancer. Um, but so. did you see the video of her and William yesterday? And everybody's like, that is not Kate Middleton. People yeah. could say that's Kate Middleton, but that's it, not Kate Middleton. There was another Photoshop issue um, right. with the picture. I don't know if it was that one or not. Yeah, it it's, a, that's a super weird but story. But it still had the queen in it, so you know, it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't supposed to be recent. They forgot to Photoshop out the queen? <laughs> no, it was, it was something about the hands again, I think. Um, all right, final thought here brought to you by a friends at New York Butcher Shop. New York Butcher Shop. Uh, Jim and the guys do a fantastic job at the New York Butcher Shop. Make sure you stop by one of those two great locations. I had the shepherd's pie last week. What would you think? Uh, it was great. So I've talked to Jim about So he does like middle of the week special, like a Wednesday special and really unique dishes. But it was his ground beef. It had the, the carrots, the, uh, the peas in it. Rockstar probably would not dig this. No, I'm out. It was topped <laughs> with the mashed potatoes, but it was fantastic. And uh, this pre-ready meals to go. Of course, if you want to get in there and grill the finest when it comes to certified Angus prime beef steaks, burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, all natural chicken cut to order just for you with a great selection of fine wines and desserts. The New York Butcher Shop, one-stop dinner shop, two locations, Cabo Heights, Highway 119 and Greystone, New York Butcher Shop, rare quality, well done service. All right. Do you, do you have a final thought on something before? Well, I mean, we're going to get too far away from it. Tony Bennett's one of the most overrated coaches in sports. Go ahead. Okay. You could have done that tomorrow, but I did promise wow, you had a chance to do it. The game's over. Yeah. The game, so it's, it's over I, and I forgotten I disagree. Tomorrow. I think the style is awful. Let's Terrible. not forget four 30-plus win seasons in six years. If you take away, and you can't, I know, that – that initial opening round loss, that Virginia team was going to go deep. Yeah. He's been to three Elite Eights, including uh, a Sweet 16 at Washington State. The guy can coach. The style's awful. He has got to become more like Nick Saban and get with the times and get a little more innovative. Overrated, man. Overrated. If that guy was the coach of my program, I'd tap out. You cannot watch that crap. Okay, don't forget Bracket Challenge. Go sign up for that next round uh, live.com, next round live.com, next round store.com, excuse me, next round dot store, next round dot store. Um, you have the chance to buy a lot of merch. Brown, give me a 30-second on that so in one minute, LT can <coughs> well, react to Clemson suing to leave the ACC, too. Probably the biggest story in college athletics. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to squeeze into the final go seconds. Yeah, Tony Bennett has done this before because he's an overrated coach. If a uh, 16 <laughs> beats a 1 or a 15 beats a 2, anything you buy between now and 11.59 tonight, we're going to give your money back. That's if a 16 beats a 1 or a 15 beats a 2. Lance, Clemson. Okay, Clemson sues. They want out now, too. Uh, I mean, this is not surprising. The ACC is crumbling. And if you're Clemson, you are a brand, especially when it comes to the moneymaker that is football. They are going to sail on the coattails of Florida State. And I just wonder where they're going to end up. I think they end up getting out of the ACC. Florida State does, too. Do they come to the SEC? Do you guys even want them? I don't want them. I don't, I don't know that it helps the SEC. Yeah. I'm told um, – I'm not told. I read by people who cover the ACC – that North Carolina is the linchpin. That if North Carolina decides to to sue and leave, that uh, ESPN themselves may uh, not renew the contract. They've got a look in that nobody talks about coming up in February, where they could say we're uh, we're not going to pick up the last nine years of this television contract. Wow! Which at that point, the grants rights are still there, but there's no TV partner out there and that could crumble the acc so espn oh. can make this happen and they're just waiting to hear what north carolina wants to do they're the big ones that apparently everyone wants god bless you god bless them. hey lance taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast lunch and dinner that is hamburger heaven since 1982 Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. 
That is mydrytech.com. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Some of you are saying Merry Christmas over here. That's exactly what Little T said as she was getting on the plane today to head to Spokane for our coverage out there. She said... Merry it, Christmas? It feels like Christmas morning oh, to me. She's so ex- fired up. She's so excited to be going out to Spokane. Her coverage starts from the site uh, tonight on all of our platforms, so set the alerts. You also have time to still get into the bracket challenge. I called it the um, the Battle Royale, just so that Lunsford and Melton would be excited about something up here involving the bracket. The Battle Royale sounds like a, a wrestling thing. Such a drive-by if you, this. if you dare jump in to the Battle Royale, you still have a couple of hours to do that. Um, the bracket challenge is powered by our friends at MyBookie, MyBookie.ag. We got links everywhere about that, or you can just jump in there and uh, go to nextroundlive.com and and do that. Champy's also uh, bringing us part of that bracket challenge and some great gifts in there from Champy's. They're bringing food up here today. Sterling and the crew will be here today to bring us food as we watch the first round game. Won't that be fun? Oh, yeah, be look forward to that. Great food. And uh, I've gotten text from a bunch of different people this morning, like, cannot wait. Best day of the year. And I would say it's wait, wait, wait. It, breaking news. There's the uh, standings right now. We're all tied for first. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is like the first day of the major league season when you're like, <laughs> everybody's Kansas in Kansas City, the Pirates. Everybody's in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a uh, it's an exciting day. Um, do you have uh, my Photoshop of Taylor? Uh, that picture I sent you, uh, Forrester, or not yet. We'll get it later on. I photoshopped uh, pretending that she was already uh, the way it's going to look for her out in Spokane. Yeah, I, I didn't even know she was going. You know, when I left here yesterday, we had a meeting yesterday afternoon. Yep. And I know it, I knew it was on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, uh, yeah that's we, yeah. We finally got it all worked out. We finalized the uh, the trip yesterday afternoon, and uh, she'll be out there and uh, staying at the hotels, the same place Alabama, Auburn, and UAB are. Uh, this is her working at the SEC tournament, right? But I, I took the logo from March Madness and put it on. Uh, what, what do the kids call that? Photoshopped it right over yeah. the SEC logo. You Kate Middleton did. Yeah. yeah. Is uh, graphic yeah. design your passion, Jim? It, it is not because yeah. if Forrester could zoom in lower left of the logo up there, right. you notice I covered up the little yellow bar. Uh, miss making making an obvious Photoshop, much like the royal family. Uh huh. And I left a little bit of the SEC logo leaking out oh, top God. right. So it was a crappy Photoshop. Yeah, see there, yeah, boom, oof. boom. Zoom in, and you can tell that's not Kate Middleton's hands. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, right that's there. right. That was a picture from last Christmas with the kids. <laughs> uh, so it should be a fun day. And we're also... Are y'all paying any attention to that story? Am I the only one up here that's paying no, attention? No, like one of our team names last night was the what? Investigators. Oh, that's good. So there's a lot of people that actually uh, have their pulse on the situation yeah. and... Um, I think it's like 50-50. You know, Lunsford, I don't know if he still believes that Britney Spears is dead. But there is probably a 50-50 split with people believing Kate Middleton is so dead. So you looked offended that I asked if you were paying attention. Because every time you bring it up, I add a very important fact about it because I'm so on there are top no of facts. the knowledge. Yeah, Jim yeah. and me are paying attention. Rockstar, yeah. are you paying attention to this? Uh, to the extent, cause I go to the Daily Mail for trash, and like only about 60% of the Daily Mail is about <laughs> the Royals. I bet they're all yeah. over it. So it's but it's, nonstop. It, it's so funny to watch how the American media, not afraid to post pictures and make comments, but the people that actually have to cover the royal family every day. Oh, there's a... Uh, agreement oh yeah like, no, no no they've got yeah. an agreement like i read about that like they don't like any tmz photos and stuff like that the british media will not run with because That's of right. their agreement with the so, royal so how many pedro gomez's do they have for the british <laughs> oh, for the royals there's a line of people standing how up outside. bad would that Today, suck if that was your job uh, i i would imagine it's pretty good usually you probably eat pretty well, you, well. But, but you can't like you can't really be objective. Oh no, no. And that's no. that's the problem. I know there's a uh, there's a station, a radio station in Alabama that is owned by pro and you guys I know y'all know the story. It's owned by a pro Alabama family and their employees can't say anything on the negative side of Alabama sports. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm and aware you, of that. Yeah. Can, can yeah. you imagine being in that spot? Yeah, that'd be a tough place to work. Yeah. I'd, I'd need a check. Hold on. 
if I'm going to comment on this, I got to read this exactly. <laughs> uh, that is not true. The University of Alabama does not control any media members in the state of Alabama, especially in Birmingham. No, I, it's sure. not in Birmingham, and the Did University of Alabama, <laughs> the University yeah. of Alabama has got nothing to do with it. This is just something just fans, that is dictated man. from the top of the ownership group, which is amazing to me. Jim, what have I been humming in here all day? Hold on a second. Okay. If you're going to continue to talk, <laughs> um, the University of Alabama is a journalistic university and very, very proud of free speech and the First Amendment right uh, in the United States. Okay. Hey, Rockstar, Lamb I Believer, and we've got uh, Mystery Fifth Hour coming up. We're uh, taping this afternoon. Cousin brother Matt, I wonder if he's got any hot takes on Kate Middleton. Oh, you know he does. You want to check with him? Uh, yeah, check will, with him. He, he uh, could just do a phoner with us to start, and if it takes all of Mystery Fifth Hour, we could do the whole thing. But if not, we could just start it with that. Yeah. He just wants to name his podcast Tomorrow's News. Yeah. Today. Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Check it's with like, him and see if he's got anything it's on like Kate Monday's Middleton. Monday's headlines on Friday. Him. He's I have to call him on a hard line. He doesn't do text. Yeah. Well, I mean, is he up at seven oh five Pacific? You well, think? No, because he's in where is he? Sacramento. Yeah. I think seven oh five. He's somewhere in. Give me. Yeah. I mean, I'd be interested. I don't know if you guys want to do that, but if so, so where is where is Harry on on that? William. Where's William on this whole thing? Shh. Very quiet. <laughs> what, I mean, That's what sucks is Megan and uh, Harry are probably pissed. Like, what the hell? We want our privacy. Yeah. And now they're not talking about us. <laughs> yeah. right. How did we not? How did we not make somebody disappear? Uh, all right, the games get started in a second. MyBookie.ag. You fired up, Jim? MyBookie.ag. Brown, what have you been humming all morning long? Da, 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 da. Uh, it's uh, in dude. my head, man. Lunsford, you're here now. Are we going to get? Uh, was that so? No, it wasn't. Was that enough. so? Uh, Close to the actual theme song, are we going to get? Are we going to get? Uh, That's maybe a copyright violation. copyright violation there. It's a lot closer than his Bane impression, so yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, it's a <NCAA> tournament. <laughs> hey, um, hello, people of Brackettville. <laughs> MyBookie.ag is where you can play all the games. Mississippi State going to get things started for the SEC. First game out of the shoot. This is a virtual picket. State a one point dog. In that game, to update you on uh, some of the teams of local interest right now, Sanford's still holding it a seven and a half point underdog uh, for that game late tonight. UAB still a seven point dog. I'm seeing a lot of people talk about them pulling the outright upset, though. UAB seven point dog against San Diego State. Auburn still a twelve and a half point favorite against Yale. And Bama still a nine and a half point favorite against College Charleston. You can play all those games at mybookie.ag. Use code next round when you sign on. Get that sign on bonus at mybookie.ag and uh, also the bracket challenge powered by mybookie.ag but the entire tournament available right there for you at mybookie.ag code next round gets you that sign on bonus you can play with it right away win once with it it is yours and yours forever mybookie.ag code next round everybody seems like they've got a bracket it's still time to get into our bracket challenge powered by mybookie yes uh, the folks down uh, the hallway that run the medical office, uh, yeah. mostly, I don't know if there are a man that works in there, maybe one, mostly women. Well, our man, Brian Wool, I mean, he yeah, comes, he come pops in, in yeah, okay. and out. So I'm walking uh, back from the bathroom earlier up here at the Blue Lake Center, uh -huh. and uh, three of them were walking in, and I was like, ladies, do you have your brackets ready? And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one said, uh, I've got five, and I was like, five different ones and she's like oh yeah yeah i've got creighton winning in two i got north carolina winning in one yeah. uconn winning one yeah, bracket polygamist are no good i'm yeah, with lance was, on that i'm a one bracket guy that's right yeah. one man one bracket yeah you can enter as many contests as that's you right. want oh, yeah but it needs to be the same bracket i, I don't get that yeah. so i mean and you know what happens in that situation is her four brackets go in the trash once she gets to Sweet 16. And she's like, I've got 12 in the Sweet I 16. I won, I won, yeah. So dumb. Now, if you're in a pool that, like, I've seen pools, Jim, where you get points for the seed, like every 11. Well, that's a different rule. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can understand that, Lance. You'll, you'll allow that, right? Like, if there is a scoring that benefits me for picking upsets, like, every time an 11 wins, I get 11 oh, points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm with you. If it's just... A normal bracket, and but there's that no, like, can't count scoring. for bragging rights. Yeah, you've got to have your one yeah. go-to yeah, bracket. The, the one That's bracket, exactly. Right. Uh, Lunsford, just real quick, are you are being sarcastic in the chat, right? Uh, the the Jim's worried. CBS, CBS is, is not trying to shut us down. CBS does not care about us, and so now we're <laughs> okay, just, just checking. Well, I mean, what's worse, my CBS? Well, I can't do that because Greg Gumbel's having to miss because of something. I think a health issue. No so, way. Yeah. I was going to get Rockstar to do as Greg Gumbel, but he's no way. Just Chicago. Okay, Rockstar, go ahead and do it. That's the way he says it. Yeah. Um, all right, so I, I've I've uh, pulled the uh, the three of us up here. We we unveiled our punishments yesterday. Games that are we we're different on today. Not as many as you would think, but we've got a couple. Um, first first one out of the gate. 
two of us is on Michigan State. Uh, Brownie is on Mississippi State. Yeah, I wish I was on Mississippi State now. And I, I will I will be uh, transparent on games I wish I could change because this game really is a f- coin flip. I love seeing Tom Izzo go out early. Um, you like you? And not, I want to. I want another early. SEC opportunity to get to a Sweet Sixteen. Not playing early. You want him bounced early? That's what you're saying. Yeah, I want him bounced early. Uh, yeah. I would tell you. Don't you like Izzo? He's okay. Yeah. I would tell you that um, lately the. Uh, you know, January, February, Izzo has been overblown. It right? has. It's yes. been a long time since it's been January, February, yeah. Izzo. Um, but Mississippi State's a physical team. Uh, I think I think Jans is a hell of a coach, don't you? Yeah, he's a good coach, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it comes down to Josh Hubbard. If Josh Hubbard gets on one of these heaters, yeah. watch out. Yeah, but usually, to me anyway, early NCAA tournament first round game, shooters struggle to shoot. You know what I mean? Like, well, Colorado last night, that's a good offensive team. They scored 60. Yeah. Uh, it, it just seems like sometimes in the NCAA tournament, the teams that have – and this could be bad for Alabama – teams that have high-powered offenses uh, struggle to hit first gear or high gear in that first-round game. Well, what I like for Alabama is they're not in a uh, pro arena. Like, I think that's different for – I say that now. I well, talk, they're not playing at Gonzaga. You know that, right? Yeah, but it's not a professional arena. No, it's not it's, one of those big, like like the FedEx Forum or something no, like that. It's I think Memorial Coliseum. Right, right. No, you no, get no. different sight lines in some of those bigger arenas. Um, and I do think that plays a factor is you're asking shooters to shoot in places where they're not comfortable shooting. Now, you got to do that on the road, so you, you just got to overcome that. Yeah, so you have Mississippi State, LT, and I are on Michigan State. You go all the way until the next SEC game. We're we're all the same on every other game until three o'clock when Oregon and South Carolina play each other. LT is on the lazy Gamecocks. Yeah, I mean, and you've kind of <laughs> got me on that too. Um, I wish I could flip this one to be honest with really? you, really, just because I like Dane Altman. I think Dane Altman's a hell of a coach. The last four times Oregon has been in this tournament, they've got yep. to a Sweet Sixteen. They are peaking at the right moment. This is a team that wouldn't have gotten in this tournament if they didn't win their. The, the final Pac-12 tournament that we'll ever see. And so I think Oregon is peaking at the right time. I think South Carolina has obviously had a better season. We are going to learn a lot about the SEC. And this is one of the reasons that this is going to contradict myself because I don't know how good the Pac-12 is, but I think the SEC is a lot better than the Big Ten. And I think this could show early in some of these matchups like Mississippi State and Michigan State. I hope the Pac-12 is good. I got Arizona winning. I, if they don't win this thing, they shut the conference down. Uh, they should shut the conference down. I agree. Down, exactly. They don't win this thing. Or if they win it, they should shut the conference down and go out on top. Well, good night, everybody. Yeah. So I can still change. I just changed yeah. one, right? You know you I'm can't. You were you're trying to get under <laughs> I saw what you were doing. Hey, do you know Arizona yeah. is the last team west of Baylor to win a national championship? And you know when that was? That was 97. Yeah. You know what this is? This what is this, Texas. Jimmy? Ain't no hold them. Well, and I think you that, like that song. Uh, it's, it's, it's catchy, yeah. but I don't know if I You like. know, back to something Bruce Pearl said. Again, I'm not going to cry tears for the Pearls as much as I like them because they got the benefit of the draw last year. Right. But I think there is something to why don't we see teams that are having success where these fan bases are going to go? I mean, you just mentioned Baylor is not that far west. No. And there is one team in the last almost 30 years to win a national championship. So. All of these West Coast games don't make a lot of sense. They don't make a lot of sense. Um, then the game right after that, Nevada and Dayton. It's the first one I'm out on the limb by myself. I've got Nevada. You two have Dayton in that contest. Nevada is a slight favorite in the betting lines with our friends at mybookie.ag. Next game after that, Colorado State and Texas. Uh, LT and I are on Colorado State. You're on Texas. Colorado State, a little slight dog at mybookie.ag. I, I felt better about this until I saw where the money started to trend and the money is trending with the Rams right now. Not that that means anything. There was so much money on Colorado last night. Boise State forgot how to play basketball in the final four minutes of that game. And then we don't have anything else different until the last two games. Uh, you two have Kansas. I'm riding with Bucky Ball to shock the world and pull the upset. More on that in just a second. Yeah, I, I would love to go Sanford. Trust me, I would love nothing more to, than to see Bucky win the game and, and Sanford win the game. I just feel like I'm, I'm channeling my inner Lance Taylor right here. I felt like everybody in the world was going to jump on Sanford when the injury news came out for Kansas. Well, and how does that normally go? Well, it's happened. I and, know. And how does that normally go? You know, the more I dig this game, though, I mean, this style sucks for Sanford or sucks for Kansas because Kansas now, when you take McCullers out, they've got six guys that average 
10 or more minutes. That's right. Yeah. And you look at, I'm saying uh, Kansas does, you look at Sanford, they've got 11 guys averaging nine or more minutes. Oh, that's, so that's Bucky Bowl. The rotation yep. is nonstop. And Hunter Dickinson, they're going to have to slow it down, yep. play through the 7 2 center, and he's going to have to have a monster game. And that's how Kansas, that is their path to victory. And I think ultimately Kansas gets there. And one big bump and that shoulder pops out. Oh, I. I'm telling you, man, I would... Uh, you sent a goon in? Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever saw the movie Digstown. Nope. But it's it's 10 fighters in one day against Lewis Gossett Jr. And Bruce Stern is telling this one fighter, I just want you to take his left eye out. Just chip his eye. Chip his eye. <laughs> I got the rest. One of my role guys, I'm going after the shoulder of Hunter Dickinson. The final game, Drake and Washington State, has me and Brownie on Drake... And LT on Washington State, so just a handful of games difference today. Well, and big, and that's big because I've got Washington State in the Elite Eight. Uh oh! So if you guys, if I catch Drake today, yeah. look out! If you guys Woo-hoo. get Drake, that is a massive game. Well, and let's again, go Drake, I don't know their mascot. They're the Bulldogs. Let's go Bulldogs. Drake, Bulldogs. Tucker, it, it went in doubt. Say Bulldogs. Next right. year's Dalton Connect is playing in this game. Next year's Dalton Connect, but in this it game. is Daddy Ball. Well, if he right, decides to leave Iowa, the great state of Iowa, and leave Drake. And uh, go somewhere else, he can make a lot of money. Yeah. Um, the show being brought to you by our friends at Johnson RV Center, johnsonrvcenter.com. We've got a big event coming up with them when we go racing at Talladega coming up uh, in April. We're looking forward to that. But always a good time to check out what Johnson RV can do for your summer plan. Hey, there's no doubt. And uh, they have repriced everything on the lot, and they're so confident they got the lowest prices at both lots that they give you a nationwide price. Guaranteed. They will beat any price on a comparable RV nationwide. You just bring them the price, they'll beat it. That's how confident they are that they have got the best prices at Johnston RV Center. Uh, They love the military the way we do here on this show. If you're active duty or retired military, they know you are what makes the United States the greatest country in the universe. No questions asked. You get a great discount. Just ask them about it at Johnston RV. I-65 exit 304 in Coleman, 334 indicator. Always online, Johnston rvcenter.com okay we'll set the table for sanford coming up in our next segment brian passink is with us on the johnsonrvcenter.com hotline coming up at 10 25 central that is our number two of the show today i didn't introduce everybody i'm jim dunaway that's lance taylor ryan brown rock star in a hat which is a rarity saw it last night this really it kills my hair like it just makes it frizzy. He was he was out partying all night came in just threw a hat on a rough rough night you go to bed rock star do you sleep any you just come straight uh, here. The the, uh, the sun woke up at eleven forty five, and we are we are doing the we are a uppercase H right now, and he is the line, and I get the feet mm. all it's, night. It, all it was night. so funny. <laughs> like, last night we had a good uh, a good crowd at trivia, and when television came up somehow, and Rockstar was like, "Bravo" was on my TV all the time. My my little man watches Bravo, and I saw this table of ladies. They were like. What is he talking like? You know, why is there this this infant that is watching Bravo? Uh, What's Shaw's he watching? of Sunset. I mean, come on now. What's he watching? Go Bravo. I was kidding. I, oh. it, it, there was a question about Bravo. And I, was like, I don't even know if we get Bravo. We are Paul Patrol and Blaze. That's what we are. Oh. Blaze gets the work done, though, man. He does. I'll tell you how it does. It. We're right. going to have to use velocity. And we're going to dig this velocity. hole. Yes. Ashley, one of our great female listeners, says, Rockstar, he's just learning how to play his kick drum. That's right. He's going to be the band. Oh, he's going to be a great kick drummer because he's constant. He's going to be doing the double bass. And double bass <laughs> right there. <laughs> On the back row, uh, Tyler is working somewhere for us. You can see Tyler's review of some uh, uh, crazy uh, Japanese Chinese can anime movie. Can we play movie. that? Yeah. Can we play it? Yeah. I want to play. I want to play it on the show. It's okay. hilarious. We'll get it later on, yeah. just so you can see that Tyler uh, has a skill set of breaking down uh, South Korea anime or something. Whatever he was watching last night at some local movie theater, uh, some Taiwanese uh, anime or whatever it was. Uh, we'll do it later in the show. You don't have to rush through it right now, Rockstar. Uh, Lunsford and um, Forrester are back in the back row. They've always got hats on. Uh, I'm not sure Lunsford's is uh, certified a hat. Um, is it? Is it? That one looks like you made that one up. So does everybody wow. have a hat on except me today? It does yeah, seem it that is. way. It's yeah. an official Oakland Athletics hat. Yeah, it's an official it's Oakland. Team. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Boy, I've never <laughs> seen team, team jump. I mean, I mean, a guy jump more teams <laughs> than Lunsford. Lunsford. He's yeah. got more gear than yeah. anybody because he's got all the teams. Uh, Taylor's on her way to Spokane. Emily Grace McWhorter right. is handling uh, social media out in the uh, command center today. Everyone else behind the scenes up here at wonderful Disrupt the Media. Hey, and a reminder, uh, while Taylor is out there, don't forget her coverage brought to you by Autograph. And you can download that Autograph app. Go ahead and download the app. Get all the great coverage from your team. Code TNR when you download the Autograph app. Use code TNR. 
and uh, get special coverage and great content. Your boy Tom Brady, this is his app, Jimmy D. Yeah, he's got the money involved in that. And you just, all you do is put your email address in, yep. and then you just uh, you pick your team. If yep. you're an Auburn fan, it loads up your feed with Auburn. If you're an Alabama fan, Alabama. Uh, if you're like me, I uh, created enough email addresses to where I've got almost every SEC team. I just How do we, little, Jimmy D? Got to log in and log out, but... Yeah. Um, I keep them, I keep it going, man. It's autographed the app there. We can just feed in podcasts and stories and anything you want all right there for you. It's really a cool app. Promo code TNR. And it's absolutely free. You can check that out. I wanted to get to one other thing involving your Los Angeles Dodgers, and then we'll get back to the basketball. Uh, first off, they lose today. Yamamoto, uh, the big uh, Japanese pitcher who came over with Otani, gets rocked in the yep. first inning, gets pulled, gives up five runs. He's not in Japan anymore, but he's expected to be really good this year. But Otani, the news that came down yesterday, that his interpreter, longtime friend and longtime interpreter, um, had a major gambling debt that Otani apparently paid for, paid it off, and then the next day it comes out the Otani camp is calling this guy a thief because he somehow has stole some money. I don't know if I believe this. Could, this, you, you could, this, could this end up being Pete Rose-esque well, for Otani? Okay. Um, the Asian community is known to love gambling. And, now, is it really big over there? Oh, it's, that, yeah. it's massive. Is it? Okay. Yeah, much like China loves the NBA. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if this Southerners is, love fried food. If yes. this is Otani's debt. You saw the deal the Dodgers gave him, and you've got a fall guy now. I don't think it's baseball-related at all. I mean, that's just my gut on this whole thing. Yeah, but the Dodgers would pay you whatever they have to under the table to keep this guy yep. quiet. Yep, absolutely, 100%. So, so this guy's become well, a Wouldn't fall. the Reds have done that for Pete Rose back nah, in the day? I mean, well, yeah, the, the money, money was so the same. different. Yeah. I mean, the Dodgers have – they have F you money – to the whatever degree. And okay. so I could see them, hey, look, man, you're going to fall on the sword. You guys are still boys. You take vacation together. Don't let anybody see you. Don't take any pictures. We'll give you $10 million this I mean, year. Dunaway, how screwed would they be if they lost to Otani? I mean, yeah. they, they basically, Lance, correct me if I'm wrong, you're the resident, you and Reed up here are the resident Dodgers fans. They made every personnel move for two years thinking they were going to get this guy, right? Yeah, but like it, every single personnel yeah. move your franchise made for two years it would, it would hurt, was about getting this it would, guy. It would hurt marketing and the gate and all of that. But it would do that for all of Major League Baseball because he's a most must see guy. Um, but more importantly, uh, the Dodgers, though, are smart on the contract, right? They're less invested up front. More oh, of his yeah. money was coming. I'm not at saying the end. money, but I'm saying yeah, it, it, so he would forfeit all well, that. Well, it, it had to be deferred, though. But, you know, it, it, the sources are saying it was international soccer, it was other sports. There was no baseball involved at all. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it would screw him on the money front. I'm just saying every roster move they've made has been about getting this guy so you've built your roster to get this guy but, but now but he's out here's what i would ask you guys though if baseball isn't involved i mean how much does it really hurt his image i mean it doesn't look great that he's lost millions and millions of dollars if in fact this is otani he wouldn't be the first athlete that's lost millions gambling i mean it's I his mean, it's his money you our know man, our man barkley is i mean i would consider him still today one of the faces of the nba no doubt. because of his broadcasting uh, and he, you know, he loses and wins some, loses some. But here's the thing. If Otani, if, if he had a one-on-one -on -one special with Buster Olney, and Buster was like, we're going to go Otani, his, his vice is collecting vintage cars, and he's got a garage of 100 cars, and he spent – $70 million on these cars. Nobody would say a word. Not a we, word. We see it all the time. People, The big athletes go broke on spending oh, yeah. on Jorber and things. Yeah. I mean, look, if you want to piss your money away on gambling, you want to piss your money away on gambling. Again, I don't know if that – I'm just saying this This smells a little bit. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't pass sniff test. Yeah, because it was so funny because on Tuesday, the, uh, the Otani camp was, uh, you know, they're longtime friends. Obviously, Shohei's going to help him with his gambling debt. You know, they're buddies. They've been together for, for their whole lives. Then on Wednesday it was like this guy's a thief. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but he's probably he's probably laughing, shooting sake right now with a bunch of uh, you know he's probably got his full uh, dojo full on some yacht uh, you'll, somewhere. You'll never see this guy again. I'm not saying they're going to make him die. Yeah. I'm just I'm not going uh, Kate Middleton. I'm just saying you'll never see him again. I he would, will I would, be paid to. The disappear. Dodgers are going to be a soap opera all year yeah. long. I would say this though. I would say this though, not to the same degree as Michael Jordan. So hear me, this is not Michael Jordan, but this is baseball's biggest draw. 
Oh, he is. So yeah. Major League Baseball, I don't think, will jump in and dig into this too much either. Pete Rose, remember, had long retired, and he was a coach for the Cincinnati Reds when the gambling yeah, story Yeah, but Pete broke. Rose was almost 40 years ago. Michael Jordan was 30 years ago. We have seen where gambling is yeah. now in our society, yeah. and it's all over the place, and it's, it's available in 40 states but now. But to your point, Pete Rose had become expendable at that point. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's he right. wasn't selling tickets. He was just waiting to get in the Hall of Fame. That's that, right. It really only affected the, the yeah. Hall of Fame with Pete Rose. Right. And Major League Baseball then could go, man, if we off this guy, yeah, that's right. nobody else is yeah. ever going to gamble yeah. again. But who is his big, biggest demographic right now? Oh, oh, it's it's the demographic they're trying to reach. It's it's Asians. Yeah, it's Asians. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and and again, I mean, look, and this is this is just the truth of the matter. Oh, I mean, it's a not, lot of Asians love to gamble. Yeah, but I I Otani games draw me in too more than any other games. I love watching Otani play, especially when he was pitching and hitting. Yeah, that was a blast to watch. He, he's fun to watch. Well, and watching uh, you know Betts and then Otani back to back, you know, and three MVPs in that lineup consecutively. I mean, it's. It's crazy. And Mookie Betts, although they lost, hit the first home run of the 2024 season. And, you know, this experiment, we call it an experiment at shortstop. The ball is finding Mookie Betts, and he is playing flawless shortstop right now. And moving Gavin Lux from short to second, he was having the yips early on. He was projected shortstop, and they had to move Betts there. Betts is is fantastic. Wherever you put that guy. Well, that's where he was in the Red Sox organization coming up. Oh, yeah, coming up. Yeah, so he was a middle infielder. Plays them all. Plays them all. All right. Little baseball. Uh, the real season, even though these two games started, uh, counted, the real season starts next week with every, or week after next with everyone else, um, including the Atlanta Braves, who will be one of the favorites with the Dodgers to make it to the World Series. All right. But it is March Madness Thursday. And when we come back, local <laughs> team Sanford, Cinderella. Does the glass slipper fit? You'll hear from their site, from the players and Bucky McMillan on Sanford and their chance to take down one of the blue bloods in college basketball. The show being brought to you by our friends at Hemphill. Hemphill Services for all your heating and cooling needs. Check out Hemphill. LT, tell us about them. 205-229-2090. Whether you experience plumbing, heating, or cooling issues in your home or business, we are ready to serve you. Call them, 205-229-2090. Uh, trust the name Birmingham's Trust since 1954 for all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. For more information, HempHillServices.com. Call the next round now at 205-734-0923. Hang out with the next round on the go. Whether you're driving to work, running errands, sitting on the beach, or you just need a break from the real world, we can keep you company. Check out the next round, Mystery Fifth Hour, and our other shows on your favorite podcast app. We'll meet you there. You have all heard of Red Wing Shoes, but what is Red Wing Shoes? It's the place where men buy boots, plain and simple. Who are Red Wing's customers? They are construction workers, warehouse employees, college students, the guy that fixes your AC, the guy at the end of the bar, the IT guy. Red Wing is a father, Red Wing is a son, Red Wing is a cult following shared by all men. A classic, comfortable pair of cool boots with a story to tell. What's your Red Wing story? Red Wing Shoe Stores, located in Pelham and Trussville. Tournament time is almost here, but any time is a great time to jump on with MyBookie.ag. When you sign up at MyBookie.ag, use code NEXTROUND for a special sign-on bonus. You can use that bonus right away. Win once with it. It is yours and yours forever. Not like some of the sites that make you win 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times before you keep the bonus. You win once at MyBookie.ag. It is yours forever. Basketball tournaments, NBA, the start of Major League Baseball, NASCAR, and golf. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. MyBookie.ag. Code NEXTROUND. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. Every day, someone is ridiculed and mocked for the clothing they chose to wear. It's a harsh reality we all must face. But you have the chance to change all of that with one visit to nextround.store. For just a few minutes of browsing, you will observe so many clothing options, from hats to hoodies to t-shirts. Please, for yourself or someone you love, go to nextround.store and embrace the warmth of true attire.
We'll actually be in the hometown of the Sanford Bulldogs later this afternoon at the Odie's location in Homewood, 4-6. to six. We'll sort of kick off the pre-gaming for Sanford's tip later tonight. Sanford, of course, goes at 8.55 on TBS. 8.55 TBS tonight for the Sanford Bulldogs. We'll do the pregame, kicking it off at Odie's 4-6. to six. We'll have a specialty show. We'll be watching the games. Brownie and I were by there yesterday. I had the club sandwich, and I skipped on the fries. Just got a side chili to go with that. That was a delicious lunch yesterday. Brown had a nice wrap. Was, come see us at Odie's today. Four to six Homewood location with Sanford. Here is Bucky McMillan, who was right outside that uh, Odie's Homewood location, watching the selection show uh, back on Sunday. Here's Bucky McMillan on facing the Kansas Jayhawks tonight in round one of the NCAA tournament. Well, obviously they're a very good program. Um, more, I'm assuming more people tune in, right? You know, than compared to if we were playing a. Uh, maybe a lesser unknown seed. And it goes right in hand to hand with kind of the quote, underdog Cinderella opportunity. Um, so that's what this tournament is, right? It is what it is. And that's why I think when you, some of the m- most, uh, the best memories we have in this tournament are memories that started with that Cinderella and continued and continued. Like we're never gonna forget the Butler runs, the St. Peter's runs, right? VCU, all right, George Mason's. Like in some of those games, in those clips, that's edged in people's minds forever. And I'll be real with you, you know, I coach college basketball, but before that, like, I wouldn't know what George Mason was, right? And I'm guarantee if you started looking at those schools and you started looking at the number of applicants and stuff that brings recognition to those universities, it's special. Yeah, so he, Bucky grew up on Cinderella like we all did. It's, well, it's a day where, Cinderella could be wearing the blue and white of Sanford. Well, here's fact. I mean, a double-digit seed has made it to the Sweet 16 in 15 consecutive tournaments and 36 of 38 overall tournaments. I don't have a double-digit seed in the Sweet 16. I know one's going to get there. I just don't know who it is. I I, I wish – I was just watching that soundbite, watching Bucky on the podium there, and I'm like, I wonder, like, if you could get in a time machine and go back five years to Mountain Brook High School and say – you know what? In five years, you're going to coach a game against Bill Self. I know. <laughs> I mean, he would he'd be like, come on, man. Come nah, on, man. He might have believed it. He might have. I mean, you know, Bucky's was, a confident guy. You know, there is a contingent that has been Bucky backers for a long time around here, and I don't understand why people still take the shots about him playing World Series of Poker. Uh, but people that were <laughs> behind Bucky, together. they were like, this dude can coach. He needs an opportunity. He got his opportunity, and look what he's done with it. Yep. Yeah. R- really, really impressive opportunity. Uh, tonight we'll talk about how the players feel in just a second uh, part of our uh, coverage down at Odie's a little bit later on today uh, may involve a little Redmond vodka as we get uh, ready for the game to tip a little bit later on I know all the Sanford folks who are the students or anybody else who may be gathering at Odie's to watch the game I know they won't touch the Redmond vodka but the, the, the adults us uh, may have a Redmond vodka I don't know, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I think there's plenty of Sanford backers that will be drinking a little Redmond vodka locally owned and operated if you are a vodka drinker give it a shot i'm telling you the taste the price point fantastic locally owned and operated i saw eleanor estes the cfo um of the company walking down uh walk into a local restaurant when i was on my way to trivia and i could just i could tell it was eleanor pulled over she was going to a birthday party just awesome people behind the brand that is redmont vodka um get into your local package or convenience store available in 22 states ask for it by name it is redmont vodka if you want to know the attitude that bucky has put into his players now remember they won the regular season and they won their conference tournament they won record number of basketball games they should have been in the tournament last year they won the regular season they, this team has won a lot in two years and that has uh, – when you win, you get used to winning. And that's what Jermaine Marshall, their big forward, was talking about on the podium yesterday. Here's Jermaine. I mean, I don't think it's any secret that it's been 24 years since Samford has been in the NCAA tournament. You guys are playing Kansas, which has, like, a storied history, and there are a couple people out in the media, at least, who are picking you guys to upset. How are you guys kind of me- mentality-wise kind of coming into this game? Like, are you thinking, like, upset – um, no, we don't. Well, I know me personally, I know the way these guys think. We don't think that anybody better than us. 
we feel like every time we're on the court, we supposed to win. And I don't feel like it's an upset. I feel like we're going to win. And when we win, it's not going to be a surprise to us. It might be a surprise to all the brackets that are going to be messed up, but it, it definitely won't be a surprise to us. <laughs> First of all, did Andy Dick get credentialed in Salt Lake City? <laughs> Seriously. Was that who asked the question, Andy Dick? Long, this is going to be about five minutes before you said it was fun. <laughs> Jermaine, your shoulders. <laughs> uh, so so uh, it, may be, it may be a surprise to all these brackets that are messed up, but it's not going to be a surprise to us. Yeah, I think one of two things is going to happen. My belief is Sanford is going to play them really really close they're going to hit big shots it's going to be an exciting game and I think late Kansas is going to pull away um, but I do think either Kansas wins this game by double digits or I think Sanford pulls the upset. It, it would not surprise me if they go to the half and Sanford's got the lead oh, I wouldn't then, be surprised and, at all and then everybody's like uh oh here we go here's the one thing and I'll, I, I, I will not forget this going back the last time Sanford was in this situation they were tight and they could not hit their shots and you could tell in their knees they were a little nervous it just feels like this Sanford team, and I said this a couple of weeks ago or almost two weeks ago, now that they got to this point, the most pressure was getting here because they knew they had to win to get in. And now that they're here, I think they're going to be a little more relaxed. Well, they're 16th in the country, Sanford is, in three points made, uh, three pointers made per game. So, I mean, that, that stat alone tells you their path to victory, right? Are they going to bang it inside with a chore chore against Hunter Dickinson? No. I mean, I, Bucky's a smart guy, right? He knows that. I don't think Bucky's like, hey, let's just test this Hunter Dickinson guy and, and see, see, what, see what he's made <laughs> of. See what he's made of. Look, I mean, they're 16th in the country. Now, they're only 20, uh, 63rd in the country in, in, in uh, three-pointers attempted, but 16th in three-pointers made. Lance, they make 9.7 per game. It's good enough for them to be 16th in the country gut feeling the amount of threes they would have to hit to win this game oh uh, i will say 12 to 15 okay so they, that's a lot yeah that's a lot and it's above their season average so you're asking them to do something that is above what they normally do on the biggest stage they've played on all year that's a lot to ask they're seventh in the country in effective field goal percentage so they you know they make shots on a clip better than anybody does they got to have the shooting night of their life tonight and i really want to know and bill self said hunter dickinson is a hundred percent he went non-contact early the last three practices he's gone full contact he looks great out there he is a seven two guy that can do a lot of different things he can pull you out he can hit the jumper he's very athletic he's got great feet in the paint I think it comes down to him dominating or it comes down to the fact that Kansas doesn't have depth against Sanford. Yeah. Oh. And, and Kansas right now, 318th in bench minutes. Here is the Yahoo bullet point on this game tonight. The Jayhawks have lost four of five and will be without leading scorer Kevin McCuller again. Very popular upset pick here is what it says. I would have felt – this sounds crazy because I know there's some Sanford players that are like, we want McCullers there. We want this guy to play. We want him at full strength. I don't think you do, but at the same time, I don't think it would be nearly the trendy upset pick if he was playing. Now, I'll give you one more stat. I, I told you the shooting stats for Sanford. Here's, here's to me, when you watch Bucky Ball, the stat of the game. Sanford turns the ball over 13 times a game on average, which is 312th in the nation. But they force 16 a game, which is sixth in the nation. Now, that's, that's, uh, you, you could do the simple math. That's only on average plus 2.6. I mean, I don't know what that number has to be. What would your gut tell you that number has to be? To force yeah, just, KU just turnovers? Plus, to, if they are plus, oh, turnovers, plus turnovers. They need to be plus. Oh, I would, no I, yeah, I would say plus four or five. Plus four or five. Yeah. So I've given Lance two stats here for Sanford Dunaway. And, and Lance tells me his gut says they've got to shoot They've got to make probably plus four or five threes on what they make per average. And they've got to force plus four turnovers more than what they do on average. So, again, I mean, I just think that showed you the hill they've got to climb here. It's doable, but that's the type of hill yeah, they've got to climb. And, and this is one of those that typically they sneak up on you. I can't believe how many people are saying going into this game. We're talking about SoCon to the Big 12. And you guys will give me the Big 12 best college basketball conference in the world. It is. And they were 10-9. and nine. They weren't great. I mean, Kansas typically dominates that conference, but they haven't been whole. They're still not whole. This is still a really good basketball team that is just shorthanded right now. Um, Jay Price, good luck, Sanford, but the trendy upset usually does not work. I, I agree. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Brody said, did you guys listen to the Bill Self interview? It sounds like that McCullough is healthy. 
but Seth finally just got fed up with it, and he just called it quits on bringing him back, shutting him down for the season. Well, you know what? If that if I'm Bill Self and that is the case, and I don't know whether it is or not. I didn't hear that interview. So yeah, I don't know. but I'm saying, you know what? McCuller, he didn't do the things he needed to do to get ready, uh, to be ready for that. I mean, I would throw a guy under the bus. Why would you blame it on injury? Yeah. I mean, he's letting his team down. If that is true, I'm not saying it is. I really don't know. He's been either. He's been banged up all year. Okay. Uh, Urology Centers of Alabama about to bring us a little uh, – a little uh, coverage of the NFL, and then we'll get back to March Madness in the next segment. Um, UCA has 35 urologists, 16 locations across the state of Alabama. Guys, it's so important to stay on top of your health, especially all your urological needs. So much of our health problems can start right there. Kidney stones uh, to your prostate and everything in between. Visit urologycentersalabama.com to schedule an appointment today. Urologycentersalabama.com. Is, there's a location near you. And just early detection is so important to stay on top of that. UrologyCentersAlabama.com. I did want to get quickly to pro days yesterday. And Emily Grace McWhorter, you can go to our platforms. She was at Alabama's pro day for all the content there. Uh, good good 40 run, one good, one bad, but a good one from Kool-Aid McKinstry, which should help him. Uh, Terry on Arnold had a good day. Um, but the pro day that had most of the NFL's top-notch folks that was out at USC and Caleb Williams. And if you saw any of the highlights from that, he had one 70-yard throw that had everyone talking. Apparently, Caleb did not disappoint anybody on his pro day yesterday. Well, you know, I saw um, – oh, and I'm, uh, help me out. Uh, who was the guy that was on um, – on Monday Night Football and uh, was a former assistant general manager for ESPN. Not Mike Tannenbaum. No, 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 no. It's um, Lewis. Riddick. Yeah, Lewis Riddick. Lewis Riddick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Lewis Riddick right. was at the pro day. And he said, look, he didn't, he didn't do anything that wild. He did what he needed to do. And really it was all about showing pocket presence for Caleb Williams. Because a lot of people think maybe he improvises a little too much. And his God-given ability just takes over when it comes to at that level against college competition, but said his footwork was good and made those throws. And I saw some of the deep balls that he threw and they look really good. Yeah. I was talking to your brother Reed, who's a giants fan. And obviously they're not in the mix for Caleb Williams or, are probably even Jaden Daniels or, you know, unless there's trades, they're not going to get one of the three automatics, but we were all talking yesterday that, in this draft, none of them are none of them are automatics. You go back, I think it's the twenty twenty one class that had Justin Fields in it, and Fields is already on another team. It had Mac Jones in it. It had uh, Mac's already on another team. Yeah, it had Zach Wilson on it. Well, Wilson's I mean, already the four yes. the four first rounders yeah. from that twenty twenty one have been a disaster. Yeah, I can't remember the last time when somebody was coming out. Even Joe Burrow, like yeah. I was like I saw dominance for one year, but he had great skill around him. I can't remember the last time I said this guy is going to be incredible. And I'm not going to say that about Caleb Williams. I feel good that Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels will both be starting quarterbacks and really good for a long time. But I just don't know. I saw Caleb Williams play poorly at times this year. Yeah. And that concerns you. And then if you, you look at Bryce last year, you know, he's, he's got a – Bryce Young's got a problem around him right now. I don't know what he'll grow into. But C.J. Stroud looks, looks the part instantly. Well, much like we talk about matchups in this tournament, I think it is fit. I think it's cultural. I, I think there's a lot of different things that go into it. I think we all agree if Mac would have gone to San Francisco, which was projected, he would be fine. There would be no Brock Purdy. I think if uh, Bryce would have fallen to the Texans, I think he probably has a C.J. Stroud-like season. Yeah, and Nick makes a point. Trevor Lawrence is from that class, but I – some people say the, the book I mean, is still out on Trevor yeah, Lawrence. I'm, I'm not ready to say Trevor Lawrence is a Super Bowl-level franchise quarterback. I yeah. think he's been good. Yeah, I think he's good and solid. Yeah, yeah I, solid. I don't know. I, I can't decide. You know, is, yeah. he, is he top 16? Is he kind of 16 to 20? Could he be in the top 10? Yeah, we need, yeah. We need a little bit more on Trevor the Lawrence. The definition of book still being out. Yeah, what yeah. Lance just said right there. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, when we come back, uh, we'll get back to the NCAA tournament. Uh, ESPN.com a few days ago put out uh, little information about every school in there, some of the famous alumni from some of the schools we don't really know about. Give me Longwood. Who's yeah. the Lancers guy? I'll, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll so up. you're going to quiz us. Yeah, I'll just okay. say, okay. I'll just say uh, you know, who do you think they'll you – know, I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll, I'll pull it back. I was re reading through it, and I thought just it was give pretty – give us one guess each. Okay. I thought it was pretty uh, – <laughs> Kirsten Dunn. <laughs> if, we, if, we, if you say the name I'm thinking on Longwood – 
I don't want to do that segment. <laughs> what was the name I was going to say? <laughs> Even I got that joke. Uh, there, was, there was one guy back in the day. John with, Hamm. With, without, uh, without looking, I'm going to say he went this direction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I, think, I, think, I think he did. Let's Katie, let's Katie's let's much see. older brother. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, same genre. <laughs> All right. Show being brought to you by our friends at Michelson Laser Vision. Tell us about Michelson. Uh, look, a lot of prices going up all over the place, but not for Michelson Laser Vision. They have held their pricing at pre-inflation pricing for the last couple of years. Dr. Jen Michelson, Dr. Mark Michelson, best in the business. I'm speaking from experience. I had the 2200 Vision. I went in, got the procedure done. I now have 2015 Vision better than 2020. Make the phone call really simple. You can schedule a hassle-free consultation. You have zero to lose to find out if LASIK is right for you. Brown went in. He got scheduled. He got the consultation. It wasn't right for him. They will tell you. It's all about integrity when it comes to the Michelsons. 205-969-8100. Ask for Amy. Tell her the next round sent you or michelsonlaservision.com. Follow John Lunsford on Twitter at jlunts. Ready to swap from your current auto or RV loan provider and drop your interest rate? Now is your chance. With Legacy Credit Union's annual swap and drop promotion, you can swap your current loan and save with Legacy in minutes. Whether you're a member or a potential member, Legacy Credit Union is here to help you drive into savings. Go online to swapanddrop.com or visit one of their nine locations to take advantage of this incredible offer. Limited time offer terms and conditions may apply. See Credit Union for details. Federally insured by the NCUA. The wait is over. Tonali has arrived. Beautifully distinctive Italian styling and performance. Come test drive the all-new 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonali plug-in hybrid at Alfa Romeo of Birmingham. The all-new Tonali offers best-in-class horsepower and torque. Fastest 0-60 to times in its class. Plus best-in-class range with full electric charge. And best of all, qualified Tonali leasees are eligible for up to $7,500 EV tax credit factored into your lease. Hurry down to Alfa Romeo of Birmingham and experience the all-new Tonali. It's that time of year. Hoops, hops, and wings with our friends at Walk-Ons. We're talking about the unbelievable madness of the best viewing and the best food in town. This tournament season, try any of the three local walk-ons in Trussville, Stadium Trace in Hoover, and also the Greystone location. A wonderful menu with original food, great drinks, but most importantly in tournament season, TV's everywhere, so you can keep up with how your bracket's burning. Your home for all the tournament action is Walk-On Sports Bistro. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Maybe you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, X, LinkedIn, or TikTok while well, we're changing the game yet again. Tyler's Telegrams has been developed exclusively for you. Hi, this is the lovable boy you know as Tyler the Intern. I'm a businessman now. I will come directly to your door and tell you every time a new piece of TNR content drops. For the low, low price of $740,000, you can be notified by me, one of the biggest stars of the next round, about that thing you missed. Sure. The rest of those social media services are free, but so is radio, and we all know how well that's trending. Tyler's Telegrams is currently operating exclusively in Bibb County. Other social media platforms are available everywhere. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Man, that's a bold question, but it's got that irresistible taste to back it up. One thing's for sure, when you've got an irresistible tasty match like Zero Sugar and Zero Calories, something sensational is bound to happen. It's too bad you can't taste it with your ears, because this Coke Zero Sugar tastes amazing. Truthfully, it's hard to put into words, and that's my job. You'll have to take a taste for yourself. Coke Zero Sugar, best Coke ever? Can I, can I share a, uh, a, a family, a family uh, joke real quick? Like our family or your actual uh, family? My actual family. Oh, okay. By the way, uh, Emily Grace finally got to meet Maggie last night for the first time ever. Oh, wow. Uh, Maggie... Uh, I, I was going to let has here. Taylor met her. Uh, I take yeah Taylor met her at kickoff. Okay, uh, kickoff show. Uh, yeah, EG party. was not with us for the kickoff yeah, party. She like joined that. us right she after joined that. Us, yeah, yeah. So uh, EG is the only one up here who had not met Maggie yet, and um, so that we ended up uh, Maggie. I called her and said, "I'm leaving here late. Just come across the street 
we'll have dinner. And she's like, I've already eaten. I said, well, you come across the street, have a margarita with me. And uh, Brown and E.G. and his family were there. And so they were leaving when we were getting there. And so they finally got to meet. Maggie um, used a app uh, probably a autograph uh, probably two years ago oh. that sort of was a budgeting app. Yeah. Because occasionally your boy spends more than he should on like golf and stuff <laughs> of your money. Yes. Yeah. So she had me sign. <laughs> she had me sign into it. Right. And it would uh, send alerts if like the kids went over the gas budget or if, uh, you know, I went over my golf budget or whatever. I got an alert this morning that said we were $22,500 over our shopping budget. And I looked at that and I circled it and screenshot it and sent it to Maggie. And she said, Oh, I stopped using that app 18 months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, thank God. Jeez. So yeah. how would it pop up if nobody's using <laughs> yeah. it? I'm still logged into it. Right. But she doesn't put the information in. So any time that we have bought groceries or anything. That goes into the shopping so it, <laughs> it is legitimate, though, then, right? Uh, we we probably in the last 18 months or two, however, two years have probably spent $22,000 on groceries, probably. Yeah. No, she, so it's just that she's not, everything's going in the shopping. She's not categorizing <laughs> yeah, it, right? Yeah. 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 That's pretty funny. 22000 yeah. I'd be like, whoa. It, it was alerted. It, it said, uh, you're $22,500 over your shopping budget. And first off, I was like, our shopping budget is $22,500? Yes. How is that? <laughs> It was just insane, but she wrote, "Oh, I stopped using that years ago." Are you yeah. still using it? I'm just logged into you, it. You, I just, you weren't like golf the green fee, yeah, yeah. brown, yeah. brown. Yes, Jim. I still get alerts from people. I don't even know it's their. So birthday. I was going to say, how do you? I don't know how you put up with all the alerts. I don't know how I stopped them. Are you? Uh, are you still <laughs> logged into Google Plus? Um, I don't know, but I get. Wasn't that the uh, social media of the I'm future? I'm done with Facebook. I'm oh, on yeah, Google yeah, Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was all Google Plus. Yeah, I've got some pictures over there. I don't know how to get back. Yes. <laughs> From, from the 2010 Auburn season. Well, uh, yeah. All right. So uh, the show being brought to you here by our friends at Precision Sports, getting you back in the game. Listen, if you threw out your back reacting to a, uh, an alert that says you're $22,500 over your shopping budget, maybe at that point you uh, need to see our friends at Precision Sports. Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics, they get you back in the game, part of the Brookwood Baptist Health family there. Just go online to precisionsportsortho.com slash 2024 to get more details. Uh, USA, Jim, Jim, what do you need? What do you need right there? Um, how about uh, tweaking a knee, playing pickleball, uh, throwing something out when you're playing pickup basketball, whatever it is, precisionsportsortho.com slash 2024, or call them up, 205-512-3885, 512 Orthopedic care better together with our friends at Precision Sports. Um, we'll get into the uh, famous alums and stuff in the next segment. Back to today's games. You look at upsets that are out there. You look at potential bracket wreckers that are out there today. Uh, the biggest one for a lot of people would be if Long Beach State. Oh, uh, don't even say it. A 20 and a half point underdog. Since Arizona packing early on. Rockstar, give me cut well, nine. What's right here in front of me, Jim? Why is that oh, right is there? Is Arizona your national That's champion? That's my national champion. Yeah. If Long Beach State, I'll go by the handcuffs yeah. right now. There, if Long Beach State wins, there that is one. no chance. Zero chance. Long Beach State. Thanks, Lance. Um, do you, I only Zero know chance. them as the dirt bag. Yeah, right? the dirt bags. It's a good, good baseball program. That's, That's what, what they, they call their for, baseball. Yeah. But what do you think, what is their mascot in basketball and all other sports? It's, it's 49ers. The 49ers. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we were, uh, when I did uh, play-by-play out in Elkhart, we had a couple of uh, Long Beach State guys. Yeah. That were uh, part of the team. You see Santa Barbara, the Anteaters, right? That's the Anteaters out there? Or is I thought they were the Gauchos. Gauchos. Who's the yeah. Anteaters? The so, Anteaters are. You see Irvine? Irvine. Yeah, UC yeah. Irvine. Yeah, the they got some good nicknames. Banana slugs or somebody, right? Yeah, somebody's the banana. Long Beach is a interesting town. I don't know if you guys have ever spent any time there. Give never me been exactly Long where Beach. Long Beach is. I think I've been through It's on there. the coast. Yeah, Thanks, it's on Jim. the coast, and it's just it's south of Newport. Okay, yeah, yeah I've been to yeah, Long Beach. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will tell you that uh, their coach is interesting. Dan Monson is his name. Brown and LT have brought it up a couple of times this week. He was fired, but he was going to coach the rest of the season. Well, something funny happened on the way to the end of the season. They kept winning and won their way into the NCAA tournament. So yesterday, this is him. You'll see he is still walking in and sitting down at the news conference. 
Remember, he has been fired already, so they are already on the hook to pay him out of his contract. So in his mandatory NCAA tournament news conference, it went like this yesterday. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't have to answer anything I don't want to because I'm working for free today. <laughs> so it's like a – you guys see the Seinfeld when, he, when, when George – Costanza was trying to get fired and couldn't get lose his job and still going to work every day and that's that's me. I'm a I'm a Seinfeld uh, episode going on right now in real life. <laughs> Such so, a weird so deal. S- he, he made he, one of the he's not biggest, giving two Fs at this yeah, tournament right biggest now. coaching snafus in history. He coached at Gonzaga. Yes. In 97, 98, 98, 99. He won 28 games in his second year, got to an Elite Eight, and took the Minnesota job. And Mark Few turned Gonzaga into a national power. Yeah, and, and you Minnesota. just wonder. And obviously, Monson can coach. If he would have stayed in Gonzaga, does he have the success Few has? We'll never know. But he was at Long Beach for 17 years, and this is only the second time he's made the NCAA tournament. And how unlikely the scenario of them getting there and uh, going on this run in the tournament. But, but good for them. Um, it will be a... Um, it will be one of the storylines, but I just don't see them talent being able to match up with theirs. I mean, I'm looking at point spreads today at my book. It's massive. AG. This is the biggest one of the day other than North Carolina over Wagner. So the only one, not the 116, is the only bigger one. I, I, I mean, boy, if uh, it Tennessee, happens. Tennessee, St. Peter's about the about same, same. Yep. If it happens, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's curtains for me. So, obviously, I am all in on Arizona on this. The world may get behind the fired coach going for the upset. I will not be part of that world. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just like, Lance, I just don't see how. I mean, at some point, like, and this is true of NC State, too. And I know they're playing Texas Tech, and it's a much closer game. I just don't buy into these teams that had to get pistol hot in their tournament to get in this thing and win five games in five days or – for you know, like NC State did, uh, Syracuse did that one year in the Big East, played their way from out of the tournament to a five seed. And I'm like, for 30 games, they're this one team. Yeah. I'm not going to buy into four that they just happen to get hot. Yeah, but my question would be, um, why then does a Thursday night, uh, excuse me, a, a Tuesday or Wednesday night winner seem like they always go on a run in this thing? I mean they've told us all year long who they are. Yeah. They're sort of a 10. I mean, you're true. You're right about that. Yeah. But every year it seems like some like Colorado who barely got a win last night or Colorado state. uh, It seems like one of these teams go, go marching through the bracket for a couple of wins. Yeah. In 11 of 12 tournaments, since we've had the first four, at least one of its participants have advanced to the second round. Yeah. So you're going to get somebody that will advance to the second round. I've got Colorado State. I don't feel great about it right now. Yeah, I have Colorado State too. I'd predetermined that yeah. before they played the other night, and they won. I just it, I stayed with them. But, I mean, it's why we talk about if you really wanted to build the best tournament, you would take the regular season champion. That's the team that has showed you for 30 games who they are. And they didn't just get hot one week and play their way into the tournament like NC State did. Look, I love those stories. I watched the end of the NC State-North Carolina game only because of that. I didn't care who won that game. But NC State was playing their way in the tournament. It baited me in. And I get that that's why they put the tournament champion in because it sells on the TV side, right? People will watch those conference tournaments now. But I also am very hesitant to jump on board with those teams. Okay, more on the bracket here. You still have... uh little little over an hour we'll call it an hour to get into our bracket challenge next round live bracket challenge powered by my bookie mybookie.ag where you can play the games and have a lot of fun but next round live bracket challenge powered by my bookie first thank you to the hundreds of you who are already in there we appreciate you so much our friends at champies bringing food today current leaderboard update right here shows that we are all tied for first right now. Oh, I'm in first. Not just on the show, but everyone else is tied for first as well. So jump in there real quick and be a part of the MyBookie bracket challenge with us. And also enjoy the taste of the spicy side of life with the all-new Coca-Cola Spice, an unexpected burst of raspberry and spiced flavors. Try the refreshing drink today at a local retailer near you. It's Coca-Cola Spiced. Perfect for the spring and summer of 2024. All right, um, top of the hour here. Brian Passing, join us in just a second. I had a chance to catch up with Sam Walters last night, Alabama freshman, Rockstar Cut 7. I asked him about what Alabama is facing in Charleston. I caught him on his way into another um, 
film session. They were going in to watch some film. Um, and I said, man, when you're watching film, tell us what, what Alabama fans, if they were watching film with you, what would they see on Charleston? For the Bama fans who are watching, tell us about Charleston. What, what's one thing that jumps off their tape when you, when you watch them? Uh, they're a really good shooting team. They kind of play like us. They play very fast. They shoot a lot of threes. Um, and they're just, they're, they're very smart. They're a good cutting team. Um, and they, they, uh, are a very dangerous team cause they get up a lot of threes and they're a good shooting team. Um, but we're, we're, uh, we're game planning for all that stuff. So hopefully we can follow our game plan. Uh, it's sort of fortunate for Bama. I think that they're playing a team that sort of has their style in this opening game. Problem is if one team is hitting those shots and another is not, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Yeah, and I, I, Charleston has become kind of a trendy pick, too. And I've noticed that. Yeah, we've said this at Alabama's defense, obviously, has been pretty much awful all year. And this is a Charleston team that can score a little bit. Top 60 offense. Uh, they've got tournament experience. Cat Pelt, uh, Pat Kelsey, his fourth tournament uh, appearance for Charleston. I just have a feeling that things are going to click for Alabama tomorrow. Uh, that would be a great sign for Alabama fans who – at one point, were they 11-1 and one or 12-1 and one in the SEC and on top of the standings by like a game and a half? And it looked like they were on their way to the SEC regular season championship, and then they had the fall off. Something, something hasn't been the same. They play tougher competition at the end, but you've noticed it. I've noticed it. Brownie's noticed it. All of God's children have noticed that something hasn't been the same for Alabama down the stretch. And I think it's been more than just the competition. I think they got a little banged up and yeah, th- something that, else that, is off. That contributed, but I just I don't think Nate Oates has liked the uh, overall makeup of this team all year. Yeah, so and if I ask when you, I say overall, yeah. I mean all pieces considered. Yeah, the defensive effort, some yeah. of the personalities. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, the, 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 you mean like the one he left behind? It does lose that. Well, you know, if, if they win, and they're going to be obviously they're favored against Charleston, they're going to be favored over St. Mary's or Grand Canyon. If they win those two games and get to a second weekend. It's been, by all expectations, coming into this year, a hell of a year. Well, it's yeah. going to be, it's going to be, you know, again, it's not getting past the Sweet 16, which is the bar Alabama's ne- you know, only yeah. been able to beat the one time. But much better Alabama teams <laughs> right. have gotten to a Sweet 16 than this team. But I think if you get this team to the Sweet 16, you feel like you squeezed a lot out of yes. this. Maybe not everything you could get out of it, but you squeezed a lot out of this team. Lamb, I believe, says he thought he was going to have Quinterly and Betty Yako. I don't think he thought he was going to have Quinterly. I do think he thought he was going to have Betty Yako. He did think he was going to have Betty Yako. Yeah, yeah I, don't think, you, I don't think you're missing much with Quinterly. Yeah, that's, so that, that's this day and age, though, man. I mean, that's yeah. every coach deals with that. Yeah. All right. Uh, when we come back, more March Madness. we got some college football news to get to uh, throughout the show that's being brought to you by our friends at Way to Wellness, your journey to healthy living. Hey, jump on there right now and uh, do what the whole Next Round team has done since we started this. They've at least had a meeting with Leslie. Uh, about what way to wellness is all about it's free free consultation just go to the website a plan for me.com a plan for me.com and you'll do a meeting with leslie and learn what the plan's all about every plan is different absolutely different and uh, it's designed for whatever your goal is for some people they want to lose a lot of weight some people want to control their blood pressure or cholesterol whatever it is they've got a plan no contract so you can opt out anytime, no sign-up fees, and that first consultation is free. Go to the website, aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. Way to wellness, your journey to healthy living. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. This hour of the next round is presented by the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, now featuring seven days of giveaways with your chance to win a share of up to $125,000. The more you visit the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, the more chances you have to win. Hey, there's nothing worse than waking up to a plumbing problem. Don't get caught in a flooded house. Call the guys at Hemphill Services. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemphill are the only ones I trust to fix it and fix it right the first time. Hemphill Services does it right and always at a fair price. For all of your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs, trust the name that Birmingham has trusted since 1954. That is Hemphill Services. Call now, 205 229 2090. That's 205 229 2090. 
Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus Prime Beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. You've got to look your best to play your best. And our friends at Bandwagon can help your team find the perfect uniforms for that upcoming season. Bandwagon is with you every step of the way, from developing your team logo design to choosing from their multitude of samples. You name the sport, they can make it happen. To get your uniform journey started, you can shoot them a message on any social media platform or check out their website, bandwagonsports.com. That's bandwagonsports.com. Next round, listeners, it's time to jump on the bandwagon. Storm season is here. Make sure you have a plan of action in place right now. Greg from Pell City and Storm Restoration Roofing should be your first call when storms hit. Insurance companies love working with Storm Restoration Roofing because of Greg Nelson's name and reputation in the industry. When storms hit, call Greg Nelson. He's local, 205-542-3531. He's the home of the free no-cost roof inspection. Greg from Pell City on Facebook, 205 542 3531. It's Storm Restoration Roofing. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast, The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. Jim Dunaway. Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. All right, another hour of the show now as we continue on today. A um, couple of headlines for you away from the tournament. Did you guys see? Who the new special offensive analyst is at South Carolina? Is he lazy? Or is, is it just it a basketball Steven team? Steven Garcia? It is not. The Spaniard? Um, Tannehill. Yeah, Tannehill with his, uh, nope. his rat tail. Yeah. Mike Shula is How the about new that? offensive okay. analyst for uh, South Carolina. Uh, he was on the practice field with South Carolina. By the way, uh, uh, South Carolina plays at Alabama October 12th. Oh, revenge game. I don't know if the analysts go on the road with the team or not. Um, if he well, would be like a, one of the booth guys. But I don't remember seeing Mike Shula back in Bryant-Denny Stadium since he left. I believe you're yeah, correct. I think that. you're right. So is the steak bat still alive on that, or did you wave the flag? Uh, I think I waved the flag on that one. I'll have to go check you might and regret. see. I mean, he's back at the college game now, and I was going to ask if you've yeah. not waved the flag. Was the state bet he's a head coach again? He's a head coach again uh, by 2025 in um, Division One. Well, yeah, so I don't think Shane Beamer's yeah. going to get him NFL there this or year. Division yeah. I, I yeah. agree with you, but I was just going to ask, in the unlikely event that both Shane Beamer is fired and he's named the interim, does that count in the stake? I would say no. Okay. I mean, I'll give it to you. If, if Mike <laughs> Shula <laughs> is the South Carolina head coach next year, uh, then he, you can have it. Even as an interim. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but Mike Shula is back. And Alabama got another recruit yesterday. I, and listen, I'm not going to be all one of the guys that sit up here Oh, well, all, you told you. all you people who said he couldn't recruit because he's not from the South, too early to tell. And I never know if these guys are any good or not. But this guy's a four-star athlete, Duke Johnson, 6'3", 205, uh, from Georgia as an athlete. Picks Alabama over Texas A&M, Florida State, UCF, and Florida. Florida State, I think, really thought they had him for a while. But Duke Johnson picks Alabama, four-star athlete there. Uh, has played a little quarterback, played a little running back, played a little receiver, 
played a little uh, corner or safety. Uh, they don't know where he's going to play yet. Uh, they just know he can play a little bit. So pretty interesting football news there. On the show that's being brought to you by the Rump Shaker event, which is coming, is it this weekend? Yeah, we are two days away from the Rump Shaker, the 16th annual Rump Shaker 5K. It is coming up this Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. For more information, to get registered, rumpshakerinc.org. Did you realize that colon cancer, second leading cause of cancer deaths in America, it affects men and women equally. If you're 45 or older, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, it's treatable, it's beatable. Early detection is the key. Rump Shaker Inc dot org for more information james says linebacker is where he's projecting there uh rod says he's a top 100 kid there right there uh andrew says i can't recruit in the south i think the little sarcasm font is there our screen is you know, not sarcasm showing from not three. showing sarcasm font right there all right so um back to basketball we get sec flavor in this first window starting in about an hour um, by the way, you're down to just minutes to log in to our mybookie.ag bracket challenge, next round live bracket challenge powered by mybookie, nextroundlive.com, and Lunsford's going to send out another link or two before we go in the chat room. But um, nextroundlive.com, the easiest way to get there on your computer or your smartphone. Thank you to mybookie and our friends at Champies who are bringing us food a little bit later on today, Highway 119 in Alabaster. This first window. Um, Creighton and Akron, uh, 11 and a half. Creighton's a, Creighton's a national championship pick for some people. Uh, and that's only, I, a, I mean, I got only, a game. A, only 11 and a half in the opening game. Here. Did you know that this is, Clay gave you the uh, stat about teams that have the longest drought of being in the tournament and not making the, cha- uh, not making the final four. Creighton is fourth on that list. This team has been in the tournament a lot, I think 26 total times without making the final four this is this is a program that is used to being here but i'm telling you man and i know san diego state beat alabama and then went on to play for the national championship creighton was a nat tear from beating those guys yeah i mean baylor sherman is a all-american you got ryan Kalkbrenner, who is a seven footer that can do it all and then you've got the kid trey alexander that is going to be a lottery guy i mean a lot of people believe if you're looking at the best trio in this tournament those are the guys and you go back last year san diego state beat them on a heartbreaking last second shot in a regional final they would have gotten to a final four who knows they could have won a national championship last year i don't necessarily trust this creighton team but they beat uconn at full strength by 19 earlier this year this when the blue jays get hot from the perimeter watch out they shoot 65 percent inside of the perimeter it's a really good team well coached too did alabama lose to them they did omaha this year a true road yep. game yep. yeah that's um, a good team, man. That's why I like them playing for the national championship. They're not going to win it, but they're going to play for it. Also, uh, in that early window, BYU and Duquesne, only nine and a half here. I, every time I watch BYU, um, that team moves the ball well. They are re- really good spacing on the floor. I can say other, uh, you know, cliche the things coach, about they basketball. they got a lot of coaches on the floor, Jim. But I like the way BYU looks. And they were in the Big 12. Well, so they still are, in yeah, fact. Yeah. Somebody was asking me earlier um, about their their suicide picks today. You know, you pick one team, you can only use them once in the tournament. Yeah. And BYU or Texas Tech would be my pick today for that. Really? You yeah. like yeah, BYU that much? Yeah, just because you don't want to use certain teams right now, like, right. you know, Arizona, Tennessee, those teams are going to win. Yeah. But you want to use them as seven or eight point well, favorites in the second round moving forward. Yeah, you may need them later on. Yeah. Nobody shoots more threes per game in the country than BYU. I mean, that is nobody, not one single team. They attempt 32 threes per game on average, make 11 per game. Yeah, And so that's how, a team that shoots outside and shoots outside off. And they got four players that shoot over 37% behind the arc. And Mark Pope, this is how he wants to play it. They've got a six eleven guy and Noah Waterman, and he's a guy that can do it all. So uh, BYU going through the gauntlet that is a big 12 had some big wins this year. So they're battle tested. Uh, James says, I've got Creighton losing to UConn in the championship game, national championship game. Brown, same thing you have, right? No, you got Arizona. No, I got Arizona. Yeah. You got Arizona in there. I was uh, looking, there's uh 63 or 73, I think it's 73 different analysts at ESPN pick their final four national champions. Yeah. How many do you think had UConn? 70. How many? I think it's 63. 63. 63. I'm going to say 28 of them had UConn. I'm going to say 38 of them. It actually is 42. Are you kidding uh-huh. me? Uh-huh. 42 UConn. How many dun, uh, How many dun, Auburn dun, to win the national dun, dun, championship? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no Alabamas, by the way. How many Auburn? Uh, I will say three. Two. There's one. 
Three Tennessee, one Auburn, uh, some other flavors, seven Houston, ten UNC, three Illinois, three Purdue. Ten UNC? Yeah. A lot of people well, believe this. Lot, yeah. I mean, yeah. their, their I think most region. People, yeah, they got the easiest draw. They got the yeah. easiest draw, and I still don't understand that, how the weakest number one gets the easiest okay, draw. But still, they got to win They got to win when they get to the final four. There's huh? no draw there. It's just no, the I best get team left. Yeah. Nicholas yeah. said, did Marty Party pick Auburn? Uh, it was not I, Marty. It was a guy I'm not familiar with. Well, yeah, Tyler Fulgham. I've heard of Tyler Fulgham. Yeah. Yeah. He's got Auburn, Kentucky, Purdue, and North Carolina, and Auburn winning it all. Uh, Nicholas we'll tell says it was, uh, it was Auburn. I mean, it was Marty. Yeah, well, Marty, well maybe Mar- Marty is not on this list. Yeah, I don't know. That he, they would call him a basketball analyst. I mean, he does the sideline. I think Marty's probably watched as much. Now, Marty's watched a lot of Auburn. Just saw him a lot in Nashville. Well, I don't right think there. Chris Canty is a basketball analyst. <laughs> I don't. Uh, he's got Houston. I like where Chris Canty's head is, though. Yeah. I'll tell you if I can find Marty. Our boy, All of a sudden, uh, I think Canty's pretty smarter. <laughs> Dallin, Dallin uh, Cuff. Our guy? He's got UConn. Dallin with UConn? Yep. Here, is, uh, here is Marty's pick. His final four is Auburn, Carolina, Kentucky, and Purdue. Yeah, and he's got North Carolina winning it all. I see Marty's now. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's uh, some of the uh, folks here. Reese Davis on the show yesterday. If you want to go and uh, uh, hear what Reese had to say about the tournament, wherever you get our podcast, including the audio version at Apple and Spotify, we appreciate those fine folks so much. Rockstar, if you can give me uh, cut number four. One cool thing is Auburn, when they were getting on the plane uh, to fly out of Montgomery to Spokane back on Tuesday, and I really loved that they took a moment on the, on the tarmac to send a message to Florida's Michael Hanlockton, who got uh, injured at the SEC championship game earlier on. And those two coaching staffs, you know, Golden and, and Stephen Pearl, are really, really close. In fact, Golden, who used to coach for Bruce, uh, Stephen credits him for getting him into coaching. The reason I'm in coaching is, you know, obviously my dad, but Golden is the one that encouraged me to be in coaching. So those two coaching staffs are very, very close. If you did not see this on social media, pretty cool moment from the Auburn basketball folks sending out to Micah and the Gator family. Micah, you're a warrior, man. You're a beast. Uh, Guys always had a plan for you, and I know your faith is strong. You're going to come out on the other side of this even better. Your team missed you, uh, and uh, you guys are going to have another great year next year. War Eagle, brother. Micah, man, how you doing, man? Sorry about your injury. Um, we prayed for you, man. I'm still praying for you today. Um, hope everything goes well with you and the team in the tournament. What's going on, Micah? Be well soon. Praying for you. Remember, Romans 8.28, all things work for those who love God. We're praying for you, brother. Wish you nothing but the best. That's very cool, man. Yeah, I, I understand so when you get uh, – Remember when Okiki went down? Yeah, Chumo Okiki. And then Auburn's run was – it was so unlikely based on who they were playing. They were going to be underdogs with Okiki anyway. But he was the best player on that roster. Yep. And you look at Florida, and now that you lose Micah, um, I think they dropped a seed. I think they would have been about a six. They're a seven now, and no one is giving them any credit. And they're, I know they've forgotten. got a really difficult first-round game against Colorado, who's got three future pros watching them last night. But then you get a draw in the second round against a Marquette team. And Tyler Kolick, we just don't know what his status is going to be. They say, Shaka Smart says he's going to be healthy. But I can't believe people are sleeping on this Florida team based on that injury. I mean, this was a team that coming into Nashville, and it played out that way, everybody was like, hey, I tell you what, one of the hottest teams in America is Florida right now. The way that team has gelled and they're playing. Yeah, yeah our, you, our, our buddy Richard Holland had them to win the SEC tournament at 14-1. to 1, And, you know, they come up short, and you wonder yeah. if that injury, how much that did play into it. But I've still got Florida in the Sweet 16. I've got them beating more in the second round. I've got them to the Sweet 16 as well uh, because they're really uh, a deep team. They do what they'll lose. They'll miss Micah a little bit. Five and seven guy, but uh, his size and his defensive presence uh, will cost them a little something uh, down the road there. The show being brought to you in part by Dr. B. Tell us about Dr. B, and then we'll jump into some more basketball. Yeah, again, when I started to thin out, Dr. Beckenstein is the name everyone mentioned. I called, set up that consultation, 205-319-0316. I do that non-invasive treatment three times a week, 30 minutes each time on the couch. My hair has more than doubled in thickness. T3hair.net for more information. For more than 20 years, women and men have turned to Dr. Beckenstein for a range of cosmetic and reconstructive procedures. He will use that experience, his advanced training, and genetic testing to help his patients fully understand the procedure they are considering call dr b today i don't know this for a fact we had the girl yesterday on trash 
that had the five head. Yep. If you've got a five head, there's a chance Dr. B could work that in and make you a four head. Yeah, take one out. Uh, 205-319-0316 or t3hair.net. Uh, all right. Um, let me uh, put on the glasses here. Is this the famous alums? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who do you think's listed as uh, Auburn's famous alums that he is? Charles Barkley. Tim Cook. Uh, Charles Barkley is on there. Tim uh-huh. Cook is not. Scotty Pullman. Uh, <laughs> Scotty Pullman is not. They've got one, two, three, four, five people. Okay, we're going to go Charles Barkley, Frank Bo Thomas. Jackson, Frank Thomas, Cam Newton. Bo Jackson, and that's it for sports. Charles well, and Bo's it See, for I sports. thought that they would not do a lot of sports. That's why um, I said Tim Cook. The, yeah. uh, and I cannot say her name. Uh, Olivia Spencer, the actress. No, nope, Octavia. Octavia Spencer. Octavia Spencer, Spencer. Yeah. She yeah. on there? She is. And then okay. the uh, Jimmy, uh, Gabby Douglas, the gymnast? No, no, no. no. Uh, Suni Lee. But I don't think she's graduated yet. So Jimmy Buffett, Lionel Richie. Is Jimmy Buffett an Auburn grad? Yeah, I think he did like a semester. Yeah, there's maybe. no way. I got to graduate college. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't got to wear sh- shoes to go to class. I can't <laughs> take a shot at somebody. Lionel Richie graduated from Auburn? Um, I thought he was a Tuskegee yeah, guy. I know he was, he was born in Tuskegee. Bad right? research here. Uh, UAB has two athletes and a singer. Two sort athletes of. and a singer. <laughs> Sam Hunt. <laughs> yes. It's no. Sam, Sam Hunt, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I guess Dude. Sam was an athlete, too. Oh, he was? Yeah. Uh, and the other athletes would be... Did oh. they go Vanetta, Andy Fla- Kennedy. Vanetta Flowers? Uh, nope, that would have been a good one. Roddy White and Graham McDowell. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about yeah, Graham. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Graham's good call. One of U.S. Open. Yeah. Uh, Moorhead State's most famous alum. Uh, Phil Sims. That's exactly right. Uh, Stetson's most famous alum. Uh, Stetson, I am going to go with Stephen Hawking. Uh, did he go to Stetson? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, boy, what a Don't big... Don't do it, Rocky. Uh, what, 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 <laughs> not. He went to Jeff State. <laughs> what a big... Jeff State. <laughs> uh, they apparently play pretty good baseball at Stetson. Uh, Jacob DeGrom and Corey Kluber. Okay. No, Stetson's got good baseball. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's down in New Orlando, DeLand. Purdue. Uh, Drew Brees. Uh, Gary Danielson. Drew Brees is on there. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is number one on their list. Yeah. Uh, Purdue's got a deep, um, deep uh, yeah. catalog of alums. Man yeah. walked on the moon. Orville Redenbacher is listed there as well. What about Tennessee? Other than Peyton Manning. Uh, Clay Travis. <laughs> hey, he didn't graduate from Tennessee. <laughs> Damn. He, he owns it. Uh, um, did I don't know if uh, Dolly. Peyton, I don't know did if Did you Dolly say no Peyton there. Manning? Uh, Peyton Manning's on there. Yeah. Did Dolly go to Tennessee? Reggie White's on there. The Minister of Defense. Candace Parker's on there. Alan Houston? Uh, Chris Moneymaker is on there. Poker player, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, he always says, defend your blind. Okay. Uh, and Lou That's Albano. Good. I don't know who that is. Lou Albano is a wrestler. Lou yeah. Albano Captain went to Tennessee. Lou. Captain yeah. Lou? I didn't yeah. know that. He was in the, the band uh, in this. So. Yeah. He's he was the, the one that wore the rubber bands in his hair. Or right. weird. Girls yep. just want to have fun video. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Sandy Lopper's dad, yeah. Paul Rudd is a Kansas alum. Yeah, I, didn't know I knew that. that. But so they've also got... I think a, Charlie Sheen went to Kansas for a minute. Yeah. Uh, Don Johnson, Rob Riggle, Scott Bakula, all Kansas. How about Kansas. that? They got some actors. Yep. I uh, wouldn't call Rob Riggle an actor, but... Gonzaga... I was talking about the other okay. ones that actually are. Gonzaga has an athlete and a... Um, John Stockton. John Stockton. And, and a, a what? An older um, superstar. I call him a superstar, but he's older for an older generation. Red Fox. Uh, that would be an older generation. Can you imagine him in Spokane <laughs> back in the 50s? <laughs> what the hell are we doing here? <laughs> That's the big one. Uh, Bing Crosby went to Gonzaga. Oh, okay. wow. There you go. Yep. He saw those white Christmas, right? Uh, true or false? Hootie False. and the Blowfish. Hootie makes it. Darius makes South Carolina. Oh, nice guy. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's the third one. Lisa Gibbons and Mike Coulter. Who and are those Hootie. people? I don't know. Lisa Gibbons is uh, Entertainment Tonight. Uh, or was da, 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 da. Texas Matthew McConaughey Kevin Durant Janis Joplin Walter Cronkite from Texas there's no way Janis Joplin graduated from Texas <laughs> he's a model good chance she didn't <laughs> shower yeah. in Austin did Durant get his degree no again these are just attendees obviously. well you know Durant did, did I go back and get back. Yeah, I think because, he I mean, he was one and done though, right? it, yeah, yeah, it says notable alumni Brent. okay okay I think I have learned that the definition of alumni is you attended the school somebody told me that once that I could technically say I am a Jacksonville State alum. They, they accepted my money. Yeah, I mean, they took six years of my parents' money for me to go there. Yeah. Um, does anybody, according to ESPN, the name of the Samford fight song? Go Bulldogs. Uh, hike a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Be our hydrant. Uh, the name of Samford's fight song is Fight Song. 
All right, guys, we're going to play fight song. Here we go. One, two, fight three, four. In the hey, should we name it? No. no. No, just call it fight song. Uh, notable alum, Tony Hill from Samford. The mission? Oh, that's Jimmy Hill. Yeah. James Brisconi and Bobby Bowden. What about the guy that was on uh, Veep? He went there. That's Tony Hill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and development. All right. Glad they used him. Uh, uh, Marquette. Uh, Famous alum. Marquette, Dwayne Wade's got to be on there. Uh, does not make it. Well, that's an oversight. But, but Rick Majerus does. Oh, uh, over crazy. Dwayne Wade? Yeah. Yeah. This guy lived in a van down by the river. Chris Farley is yep. a Marquette? Chris Farley. Yeah, from Chicago, went to Milwaukee yeah. to school, yeah. yeah. Kentucky. Uh, Ashley Judd. Is on there, but second behind Pat Riley. Tony Delk. And then everyone else is uh, Calipari players except for Miss Elizabeth. Is a Kentucky. Oh, really? Macho Man. The greatest wrestler of all time, right? Great, yep. Boy, so how many Calipari players did they put on there? Uh, did they, Anthony Davis make it? They put uh, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis. Okay. Those are the two that they have on there. Uh, who else is interesting? Uh, Florida Gators, number one on the list. You're never going to get. Tim Tebow. I mean, I would put Tim Tebow. Some people see my last name and looks and say we're we're probably related. Faye, Faye Dunaway. Dunaway. Faye Dunaway's oh, number one. Tim on the Tebow's Florida bigger list. than Faye Is Dunaway. Is Spurrier on there though? Uh, Tebow does not make the list. Well, that's stupid. Uh, Daryl Hammond, uh, Stephen Root, and Bob Vila. Stephen Root, underrated, funny actor. Well, he's I like, like Shakespeare and Train, and he's he's known uh, for yeah. Milton. I think he's yeah. a real good actor. Well, I mean, No Country for Old Men. Yeah. He yeah. goes out the wrong way to Antoine Chigar. But. Yeah. Uh, Nebraska. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, not on here. Uh, Melissa Midwest. Uh, <laughs> nope. ESPN Shelly Smith is on here, though. How about that? Johnny Carson, Willa Cather, and Warren Buffett. Seems like their NIL should be better. Uh, Warren, <laughs> Warren's got a dollar. I mean, honest to goodness, if I am a Matt Rule, if you're listening, Matt, uh, I would get Warren Buffett's yeah. uh, number. Well, yeah, I'm and, sure Matt has not thought of that yet. Jim. You know, when Clay brought up that he is a contributor to Tennessee, to the collective, I asked him about the taxable write-off, and he said there's supposed to be, which... Leaves that open ended. Warren Buffett is such a financial guy. I would think he could figure well, I, out. A, yeah. Hey, again, to the loophole, a way to write that off. The yeah. IRS has cracked down on that. Yeah. yeah. Texas AM, number one on the list, cannot be true, but um, one of the more unique voices in uh, singing, Lyle Lovett, listed at number one for Texas AM. Hmm. If Lyle Lovett at Texas AM went on a road trip and met Janice Joplin halfway and they had a kid, what would it look like? Steve Buscemi? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, God, it's a Buscemi. Oh. Buscemi, the love child. Put it back. Hey, here he is. Uh, he comes out with teeth. He's shooting everywhere. Uh, finally, I'm down to Longwood, uh, which is located in Farmville, Virginia. John Holmes. Uh, <laughs> you and, you and, you and uh, Dunaway. Dunaway did it. Uh, Jason Mraz is from Longwood. Is a Longwood. He alum. wears a funny hat. He did. He? Yeah, I met him once. Nice guy. He's a, he's a tiny guy. Good songwriter. Nice Good, guy. Yeah. Does every one of his songs sound alike though? Uh, yeah, they're all, they're very poppy. Yeah, Michael Tucker, the and, brave former brave and royal. Uh, I don't know. It just says Michael Tucker. I don't get a bio brownie. Quincy Taylor. Quincy Taylor. I'm not gonna ask you about him. Alabama. One, two, three, four. four Five, six, seven names. The biggest alumni list I've seen on here. Zila Ward's going to be there. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, so she's been phased out now. Uh, no. Joe Namath. Joe Namath is the last one on there. Number really? seven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's play the few. Ding. Seven. Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas is on there. One, two, three, fourth. Mm. Derrick Henry. Not going to be on there. Oh, wow. You guys are not going to get a couple of these because you do not think of them. You don't think Alabama when you think of them. Okay. Chris Donnelly. Uh, Michael Donnelly, what's his name? Chris Donnelly. Chris Donnelly. Right the first time. Julio Jones is number one. Okay. okay. Bear Bryant is two. Object Malone. Jimmy Wells. Justin Thomas. Dabo Sweeney. Right. Harper Lee and Joe Namath. So you mean Dabo made the list and Brian Passing didn't? Yes. Brian <laughs> Passing in our next segment. This Harper here. Lee thing. <laughs> Again. One, one hit wonder. Yep. Yeah. I mean, um, I wrote one term paper in college. I'm not a big star. I mean, so the dude from um, Napoleon Dynamite, John Heater, yeah. is he going to be – because he, he made one crap movie? Is he going to be on movie. these lists? He's also got a twin, too. Yeah. We'll talk to Passing coming up uh, in Spokane, uh, getting ready for tomorrow's game on the Crimson Tide Sports Network. Odie's is where we are later today. LT, tell us about Odie's. Uh, the question, what came first, Quentin Tarantino or Lucky Charms? 
Ooh, I will go Quentin Tarantino. I think uh, Lucky Charms relatively new. I'm going to say Lucky Charms. Uh, that leprechaun looked really old in the cartoons when I was a kid, so I'm going to say Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, 1964, Quentin Tarantino, 1963. Mm-hmm. Little facts you learn, Odie's Trivia, every Wednesday night. We do that at the original location in Crestline. Had that south of the border roll up last night with that spicy slaw on the side. Fantastic. We will be at the newest location of Odie's in Edgewood tonight. Come out and join us from 4 to 6. We're going to be broadcasting for March Madness. Come see Will Haver. Enjoy an ice-cold beer bucket full of Bud Light. Two locations, Crestline, now Edgewood. It's Odie's Tavern. Take the next round anywhere you go with official Next Round gear. Buy yours today at nextround.store. Legacy Credit Union has the ultimate game changer for your finances. With engaged checking, you can earn 3% APY on balances up to $15,000. You heard correctly, 3% APY. But it's not just about scoring with high yields. With engaged checking, you can get paid up to two days early. That means your paycheck, Social Security, tax refund, you name it, you get it early. So stop sitting on the sidelines and get in the game with engaged checking. Sign up today at LegacyCreditUnion.com or visit any nine Greater Birmingham area branches. APY is annual percentage yield. Terms and conditions may apply. See Credit Union for details. Federally insured by the NCUA. This hour of the next round is presented by the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, now featuring seven days of giveaways with your chance to win a share of up to $125,000. The more you visit the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, the more chances you have to win. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, you're in the red zone for every college rivalry and divisional matchup all season long. I mean, where else are the scenic views as good as your view of the game? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. You gotta look your best to play your best, and our friends at Bandwagon can help your team find the perfect uniforms for that upcoming season. Bandwagon is with you every step of the way, from developing your team logo design to choosing from their multitude of samples. You name the sport, they can make it happen. To get your uniform journey started, you can shoot them a message on any social media platform or check out their website, bandwagonsports.com. That's bandwagonsports.com. Next round listeners, it's time to jump on the bandwagon. It's time to pull the trigger on the Next Round merch that you've been eyeing. We know there's a lot to choose from at nextround.store, so here's a few of our favorite picks. If you want to match LT and Brown, go with a TNR logo hoodie and throw in one of Dunaway's favorite hats. Any of them will do. The backroom's go-to is the classic logo t-shirt, while my personal favorite is the light blue TNR crew neck. All of these items can be found at nextround.store and are EG approved. Rest assured, your order will be packed with lots of love from us here at the next round. Head over to nextround.store to start filling up your cart. Back with you on the next round. It is, uh, God, we're, what are we? But less than 45 minutes away from the tip of the first game. It's a good SEC uh, team in Mississippi State battling Michigan State right out of the gate, 11-15 on Maine CBS today, virtual pick em game. Um, the local teams, Sanford goes tonight, 8-55. We'll be down at Odie's watching that game with a lot of the Sanford uh, alumni and students there. And then – Tomorrow, UAB, Auburn, and the Alabama Crimson Tide in action, Brownie. All right, let's head to Spokane, and our buddy Brian Passink, the analyst on the Crimson Tide Sports Network, is there. He has arrived safely. Did you travel with the team? So you've been up since Tuesday. Is that right, Passink? Yes. Got here early. Um, got to get acclimated to the, the time zone in the great Northwest, uh, and it's been a good trip so far. As good as Gonzaga has been over this last 25 years under Mark Few, 
I think we have we have uttered the word Spokane more on this show <laughs> since Sunday than we ever will again. And I'm just wondering, like I've never been to the Pacific Northwest. I've wanted to go. I still plan on going one day. Um, wh- I mean, what is the city like for what you know so far? I like it. Yeah, no, I'm getting here early. I've had a chance to, to get around. And I- I've been here before. We actually played a – a kind of a home and home with Washington state back in the early nineties, we played in Birmingham and then we played them um, uh, here in Spokane uh, head coach of the Washington state Cougars back in 93, Kelvin Sampson, not sure whatever happened to him. <laughs> uh, but he, he was a, a young and up and coming coach back then. And uh, so I have, I have been to Spokane remind me off the air to tell you my Spokane story from 93, not family friendly, (laughs) uh, but but entertaining nonetheless. But Spokane is, is a really cool town, very laid back. Um, you know, really pretty. I mean, uh, weather's been great. Um, Alabama people everywhere, you know, we're at the team hotel here and got in Tuesday night, threw my bags up in the room, going to meet, uh, Tom Stite and Chris Stewart downstairs for dinner and uh, walk back downstairs and I hear the Auburn fight song with the band and cheerleaders and players and coaches all just arrived. So we got Alabama and Auburn at the, at the same hotel, which is a a unique situation and Alabama and Auburn fans. And uh, you guys would have loved it last night at the hotel bar. We had it. I mean, it's Alabama staff, Auburn staff, uh, coach Pearson, uh, our buddy Philip Pearson, his wife, or Erwin Dudley, were all hanging out. It was, uh, you know, it, it was a, a who's who of of Alabama, state of Alabama basketball people, and all guys and girls that, that that y'all know and are friends with. So so far, so good. Now it's just time to go out and win some games. We need to do that at Iron Bowl, don't we? Have the team stay at the same hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had gotten a heads up from some of the uh, people who handles who handle some things at both universities about uh, the arrival of both teams at about the same time, and thought it was uh, thought it was a unique situation to say the least to have them both rolling into the lobby that far away from the rivalry out west. Uh, no doubt. Listen, I I've been you know around a lot of NCAA tournament games and sites and team hotels i don't remember sharing a hotel with another team in the ncaa tournament and you know the good thing is they put you in a hotel based on seating so the higher seeds get the better hotels and i I think alabama and auburn are the two best seated teams here in spokane so we're at the davenport grand uh for those in spokane it's uh Man, the, the 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 hotel lobby and bar is hopping. It's a good place to be uh, if you're an Alabama, Auburn, or UAB fan for that matter. They're just down the street. But um, it's good to be a good seed in the NCAA tournament for a lot of reasons. But one is you get the the top pick of the best hotels in the town. And and right now uh, we are enjoying life and uh, so far so good between the the Alabama and Auburn people. Everybody's getting along. Everybody's well-behaved. So hopefully that'll continue. All right. So um, uh, I'll ask you the question, and if you can answer, answer it. If you can't, don't answer it. Just say you can't answer it or you don't know. But uh, Nick Pringle, have you seen him at a practice or a shoot-around or you've seen him in the hotel at all? Is Nick Pringle in Spokane? Well, after we get done, I was going to go to practice. So, uh, Jim, I'll text you and okay. let you know what I, what I find out. Uh, but uh, hopefully everybody's ready to go. Uh, I know this. Nick has been such a key part of the team the last month of the season. Uh, he's had his ups and downs uh, on and off the floor um, this year. But a great kid, great young man, <clears throat> teammates, coaches love him. So hopefully uh, he is ready to go. But uh, do not have an update on that right now he's been playing really good basketball when you know I don't, I don't know if it's you know a lot of people love when we got four guys on the court if you're a Bama guy right four guy, <laughs> four guards out there and, and Grant down low but when Pringle can uh, have a good game that gives Alabama something they need down <clears throat> to the paint right yeah I mean no doubt about it he's gotten better he and Mohamed Wagi have done a better job of defending without fouling uh, need for Grant Nelson to do more of that. Uh, but, you know, he's been a, an important part of this team uh, all year long. And uh, this this Alabama team, the one thing that, that we've talked about and 
Uh, Jim, you've joined us a couple times over the last couple of weeks on the broadcast, and, and we've loved having you. Wish you were here. Uh, but you know, the one thing that this team really needed is rest. I, I thought this was a, a little bit of a tired team, and big reason for that was the health. You, you had Latrell Reitzel miss about five games. Rylan Griffin missed time late in the year. And not having those guys available hurt Alabama for a lot of reasons, but one is – the rotations were not quite the same. You had, especially on the perimeter, more guys playing more minutes. And this time of year, that's tough uh, because you, you lose your legs a little bit regardless, the grind of a college basketball season. So didn't want to go one and done in Atlanta in the SEC tournament. But I'm hopeful that that'll be a blessing in disguise because I think more than anything, this team needed rest. And, and I think we will see fresh legs tomorrow against a really good Charleston team. Brian Passing with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. That Charleston team has not lost a game in which they've scored 80 points, so they do not mind scoring the way Alabama does. This this on paper, when you look at the defensive numbers, especially like the Ken Palm adjusted defensive numbers passing, looks like a pretty good track meet. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun to watch. I mean, two teams that want to do a lot of the same things, uh, get up and down, score, shoot a lot of threes. Uh, from the Alabama perspective, it's about defense, and this team obviously has not been to the Nate Oates standard of defense. When you look at his teams, whether they were at Buffalo or at Alabama, typically he's been better from an efficiency standpoint in the defensive end than the offensive end, and obviously that's that's flipped in a big way this year. When healthy, uh, this was the best offense in college basketball, faltered a little bit late as injuries hit, and, and this team, uh, I thought, had tired legs, but – defensively, they have not been nearly where they need to be. I know that's been a point of emphasis really all year long, especially the last couple of weeks. And against this Charleston team, I think they have the respect of these Alabama players, certainly the coaches, with what they do from the three-point line. I think there's only two teams in America that shoot more threes uh, in, in college basketball than Alabama, and one of those is Charleston. They're really dangerous. You mentioned the streak that they're on. They've won 12 straight. They're playing at a high level. And as the year has progressed, especially late in the season, their numbers and efficiency numbers, when you look uh, at, at the analytics, is much better over the last month than they were throughout most of the season. So when you look at Charleston's numbers, they're actually better than, than what we're seeing over the course of the season because they're on a hot streak. Now, obviously, they're not playing the level of competition that Alabama does in the SEC. I, I think the SEC is the best league in America, and, and I think over the next couple of weeks uh, we'll see some of these teams really rise to the top in college basketball. So looking forward to seeing how the conference does, and I'm hoping that that level of competition and the rest will prepare Alabama for hopefully a couple of games <clears throat> here in Spokane and then on to L.A. Uh, but it's not going to be easy to move to the second round because tra Charleston – is really good, they're really dangerous, and they're really confident right now. And when you look at some of the top mid-majors and, you know, you're looking at your bracket and you're picking upsets, one thing you want to see is veterans, and they have that. They're juniors, seniors, graduate transfers that have been at Charleston for a long time, and those guys can really play, and they're not going to be intimidated uh, by Alabama or, or the name on the chest and, and the SEC – uh, these guys uh, for Charleston played a lot of basketball, and they played in the NCAA tournament. They were in it last year. They won their league back-to-back -back years. Uh, so it's going to be a tough, tough one uh, tomorrow against a really good team. I brought this up earlier. 73 contributors at ESPN.com picked their final fours. And of those 73, all eight SEC teams at some point are represented in a Final Four. Wow. If, if I take Alabama, including, yes, yeah, South Carolina, uh, A&M, Mississippi State, if I take Alabama out of the equation, you were talking about how good this league is, which SEC team do you think is built to make the deepest run and ultimately will make the deepest run? Well, I mean, you, you have several teams. Listen, I would have I would have put Florida in that mix before the injury uh, to Micah Hanlost. And, I mean, that guy can – really make a difference and, and him not being in is going to hurt them but still Florida's really good I mean listen the, the obvious two answers are Tennessee and Auburn uh, Tennessee the best team in the SEC throughout the league they won the regular season they've got everything that it takes to make a run to the final four uh, amazing that with their history and success uh, over the decades that they've made they've never made a final four Alabama Tennessee 
uh, two of the best programs in the country that haven't made a Final Four. Uh, so I think uh, Tennessee and Auburn, um, obviously with what they did in the SEC tournament, um, they're hot, they're playing well, and they do it on both ends of the floor. So uh, I think – and listen, <laughs> Alabama fans right now listening to my two picks – uh, probably the least two that they would like or, or will be cheering for. And I'm not saying I'll be cheering for either of those. Uh, <laughs> but I think they're really good. And I think they have a chance. And I think the league is going to be well represented in the Sweet 16 and, and hopefully the Final Four. Oh, everybody up here was joking yesterday when I was talking about Auburn's good enough and deep enough to win a national championship. They thought I was trying to landmine them. And I was like, I've seen this team several times this year. That's a it's a really good contest. Uh, enjoy the stay out there. Um, I think you you would you would agree with this. Having Nate Oates' contract situation signed and all that uh, put to bed. That's a that's a relief for Alabama basketball moving forward. He sort of changed the trajectory of where this program had been and where it is now. Um, just one quick thought before you go on uh, Nate's contract and. Uh, you've seen it up close and personal, what he does for this program. Yeah, there, there's nothing more important for our basketball program to have Nate Oates signed, sealed, locked in. Uh, I think he is one of the best, if not the best coach in the country, when you look at what he's doing and the runway he has. I mean, he's uh, still in his 40s. Uh, he's got a lot of coaching to do. And I feel like with what he's done in Alabama is amazing. Uh, but it also feels in a way like he's just getting started. And when you hear stories about Scott Drew turning down Louisville, a lot of people think their next call would have been to Nate Oates. Well, that's not happening with an $18 million buyout. He's proven that he wants to be in Tuscaloosa. Um, Greg Byrne and the administration has shown, and understandably so, that they, they've got one of the top coaches in college basketball. Let's keep him. And so I, I think the success that Alabama basketball fans are enjoying right now uh, is, is going to continue for a long, long time. And as someone who's been around this program for a long time, I could not be more excited about it. Did they do custom curtains for you guys? People are killing it in the uh, chat are room. They? Well, but the rod, the rod's not long enough for the curtain no, to cover yeah. the window. You, yeah, you ain't sleeping <laughs> in. Yeah. No, no. That, listen, this is fan. I mean, you can't sit. It's got the uh, the automatic. Oh. Uh, it comes down. Yeah, high see, yeah. Yeah, high cotton yeah. hotel, as you said. It's Andy fancy. Kennedy couldn't even get a flight out from the NCAA. <laughs> yeah, poor AK was on our you show. Know, I, he was on our show Tuesday. He's like, we don't even know what our flight time is yet. <laughs> I was joking with Pearson last night. 12C, where they got you the best Western? You know, they're, they're not living the, <laughs> the, the, the top four seed life over here. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's a different story. When, when we've been a lower seed, I mean, we're, you know, you have to rough it and uh, you don't have fancy uh, curtains like, like that if you're a, you know, a 12 or 13 seed. So Charleston right now, um, you know, they're, they're trying to win a game, but uh, you know, they don't have a fancy room like this. They're yeah. trying to survive the hotel. Yeah. Charleston. I, is, yeah. I, I, will, I will tell you this. I hope, uh, I hope your team goes deeper in the tournament than that curtain rod does. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It, it doesn't show up great on, uh, you know, on camera, but you know, it's a nice room. Yeah. All right. You'll hear Brian Passy, Chris Stewart, Tom Stipe from up in the Palouse on the Crimson Tide Sports yeah. Network. And who's got the bench report on this broadcast? Uh, it is an upgrade. Nobody's doing it this week. Oh, I would imagine. crap. <laughs> crap. Yeah. Yeah. Shoes are too big to fill. That's right. Couldn't so. find anybody in the Palouse to fuel your shoes. Uh, uh, Passy, would, would you at least tell them I did okay? I don't think they, uh, they realized that I was okay at it. Just tell them I was okay. Did what? you guys not listen? I have never I, met I a thought... guy that fishes for more compliments <laughs> than this guy ever. Well, listen, he did a great job against he, He's my ringtone, um, Al. Of course we listen. <laughs> yeah. And no, he, play, he, he, he played his clips too, all... Brian. So, yeah, we heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. No, did, did, didn't get the job done uh, against Florida. I, Listen, that, I don't know this for sure. That may be a reason why Jim isn't on this trip, yeah. is he's been banned from the Alabama bench after the Florida debacle at the SEC tournament. So yeah. He showed up in uh, Nate's analytics. Know. Yeah, yeah he, Nate's he, analytics. he touched a couple of your players. <laughs> yeah. what's, our, what's our with Dunaway record? Oh, Nate, I got bad news. <laughs> yeah, I went out to do the halftime interview, and Nate walked the other way. Uh, all right, Passing, man. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Thanks, all right, buddy, see you. Brian Passick with us uh, on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline from up in Spokane. Yeah, Coca-Cola Spiced is out. Uh, spice up your bracket with that hint of raspberry flavor. 
and a lot of spice flavors as well. Get it at your local retailer where you get all the other great Coca-Cola products. Coca-Cola Spice, try it out. That includes Coke Zero. Is that the best Coke ever? You can taste it for yourself during the tournament. It's all going on right now with our friends at Coca-Cola and also the New York Butcher Shop, my friend. Tell us about New York Butcher. Well, I talked to our friend Jim this morning. Fantastic guy. I told you guys last week for the first time ever, Shepherd's Pie. They've always got something unique going on in there. He takes so much pride in his craft. And uh, look, if you just like an old school butcher shop that's just got incredible food, you're going to love the New York Butcher Shop. Pick up the finest and certified Angus Prime beef steaks, burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, all natural chicken cut to order just for you. They've got a great selection of fine wines and desserts. New York Butcher Shop, your one-stop dinner shop, two locations, Cabo Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop, rear quality, well done service. And our Taylor Corn's just a few hours away from landing out in Spokane to cover uh, UAB and Alabama and Auburn throughout the weekend. There's Taylor's work up in Nashville, Tennessee, and she's uh, on her way right now to Spokane for March Madness, and she'll uh, be on our, all of our platforms Uh, Starting later this afternoon into the evening, thanks to our friends at Autograph. Autograph is the app. Brown, tell them about Autograph, the code, and I'll pull it up on my phone Yeah, code is TNR when you log on to Autograph, and basically it becomes your home for all your favorite team's content. And uh, you download it. It is free to download. Code TNR. Just set your favorite team, and boom, right there. It curates all the content in one spot, by the way. Yeah, and uh, today... uh, this one I'm signed in as an Auburn fan right here. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Since you got them winning the national championship, you just shuttle through. You got your top listens podcast right there. Stories, uh, news conferences pop up there on that. If you're an Auburn fan, you can do it with an Alabama fan as well. It's that kind of app. And again, all you have to do is you put your email address in and then the promo code TNR. And uh, it's awesome during this part of the year, but it's fantastic during football season. So get on there now fan of any sec team you can find it right here on the autograph app and use the code tnr it is a free app go download that today when we come back more basketball more basketball you guys are joking about what show it is today but we ain't scared show number 666 today 666 just a number just a number right yeah hopefully there's (laughs) that number's been conquered for eternity done that's right look at that oh scott what are you doing way to go scott Right uh, as I went biblical, uh, Sky puts uh, the flames up. Meanwhile, I'm going to go to my bookie right now and bet on the Red Devils today. We're back in a moment on TNR. Call the next round now at 205-734-0923. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, you're in the red zone for every college rivalry and divisional matchup all season long. On game day, you never have to decide which teams to watch. Only what combination of bites, burgers, wings, and more to order. Plus, where else are your favorite draft beers always poured at a frozen 29 degrees? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late night bites. Only at Twin Peaks. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. You have all heard of Red Wing Shoes, but what is Red Wing Shoes? It's the place where men buy boots, plain and simple. Who are Red Wing's customers? They are construction workers, warehouse employees, college students, the guy that fixes your AC, the guy at the end of the bar, the IT guy. Red Wing is a father, Red Wing is a son, Red Wing is a cult following shared by all men. A classic comfortable pair of cool boots with a story to tell. What's your Red Wing story? Red Wing Shoe Stores, located in Pelham and Trussville. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. 
You've got to look your best to play your best. And our friends at Bandwagon can help your team find the perfect uniforms for that upcoming season. Bandwagon is with you every step of the way, from developing your team logo design to choosing from their multitude of samples. You name the sport, they can make it happen. To get your uniform journey started, you can shoot them a message on any social media platform or check out their website, bandwagonsports.com. That's bandwagonsports.com. Next round, listeners, it's time to jump on the bandwagon. It's that time of year. Hoops, hops, and wings with our friends at Walk-Ons. We're talking about the unbelievable madness of the best viewing and the best food in town. This tournament season, try any of the three local walk-ons in Trussville, Stadium Trace in Hoover, and also the Greystone location. A wonderful menu with original food, great drinks, but most importantly in tournament season, TV's everywhere, so you can keep up with how your bracket's burning. Your home for all the tournament action is Walk-On Sports Bistro. Back with you. On your home for March Madness, the NCAA tournament and everything is the next round. And we continue on today on the show that is also being brought to you by the University of Montevallo, who's got their first ever wrestling national champion in, uh, in-house in down there at Montevallo, montevallo.edu, montevallo.edu. Uh, check out Montevallo and everything they have to offer your son or daughter. If you are junior or senior in high school looking for a place to pursue your passion, Find it all right there at Montevallo, montevallo.edu to schedule an in-person tour. 23 NCAA Division II fully funded scholarship sports. Check it out. It's Montevallo, montevallo.edu. Man, getting close to uh, crunch time now. Uh, Excited about these games today. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Cut five, Bruce Pearl, rock star. Excuse me, cut three, Bruce Pearl, cut three. He gets asked about his team. And um, how they have grown this year and just how good they could be here in the NCAA tournament. Here's Bruce talking about the Auburn Tigers, who, according to The Athletic, is the most underseeded team in this tournament. Better than their four seed. By far the most underseeded team in this tournament, according to The Athletic. Here's Bruce. You said on Wednesday before the SEC tournament, this was a very good team that had a, you know, an opportunity to be, to be great. Just kind of what's your assessment of them getting up to that next tier if they haven't already become a great team? What do you think they need to do in your eyes to, to kind of solidify that uh, this year? Well, I just think, I think you know, just this is our, this is a great, this, this team has been great. You can't win a championship without being great. So they're already great. They don't have to do anything else to be great. Nothing. As we move forward now, um, we have an op- we put ourselves in position. We have an opportunity, um, and and so we just truly need to keep doing keep doing what we're doing, keep defending, you know, keep. We could, could we do a better job on, on rebounding? We didn't dominate. We weren't dominant in our, our rebounding, so was, we got to continue to do a good job with that, and continue to stay unselfish and uh, make shots. Keep in mind that for a lot of people, those first games in the tournament is sometimes your scariest game. Auburn's Final Four run, New Mexico State. Chris Jan's team scared Auburn more than just about anybody else until they, they lost to Virginia. They had a look at the horn, did they not? Yeah. Am I right about I remember that? exactly yeah. where we were, who we were with. Yep, right downtown. Yeah. We want to show, I mean. Went to overtime, didn't it? No. No, they, I think they had a look at the horn either to win it or force overtime. Yeah. It was, I think it was to win it. But, it. but it came down to that, and then they went through this murderer's row of blue bloods after that, you they, know? They got, they got into the yeah. tournament, and they found their tournament legs. That's why... You know, you sometimes you, you you embrace the rest, but as of Sunday, Auburn was hot, man. They were on a roll. If if they'd played a, if they'd played Yale on Monday and played uh, somebody else on Tuesday, I mean, I think that team was churning. You want to you want to you, you appreciate the break, the travel, and everything. Yale's a good first opponent for Auburn to sort of get their to get their tournament legs rolling in a good direction. Yeah, and I would bet Bruce and Steven and staff, they didn't even say out loud, boy, this was a bad draw for us. Um, just let your guys go out and play loose, play like they've been playing right now, and take it literally one game at a time. Of those 73, and I keep going back to this because it is fascinating to me because UConn is viewed as the best team. And I told you guys there's just a slew of people that have UConn winning this thing, 42 of 73 to win the whole thing. With that said, there's still five of these experts that have Auburn in their Final Four. You've got them winning it all. And if Auburn was in one of these other regions, I'd feel really good about it. But because they've got to face, if 
In fact, they get to that second weekend, UConn, that first game. It's a tough draw. It's easy to make the the case that Auburn is the most underseeded team because, I mean, you look at Kim Palm and you look at the net, and we thought the NCAA leaned heavily on the net, and where Auburn fell, fell in the S-curve, 15, is a pretty big gap. I would guess, I have not done this done away, but if I took the net and the S-curve and put them together, I would guess Auburn had the biggest gap between where they are in the net of an autom- of a uh, of a, an at-large. Yeah, you know, yeah, an yeah. automatic maybe is different, but an at-large. Oh, well, yeah, for, for, from number five in the net to four, a four seed? Yeah, I mean, they're, almost, they're, they're four, almost a, a higher seed than they are in the net. A four seed and a 15 in the S-curve. Yep. I mean, you know, they're 10 spots different. So, yeah, you can make an argument Auburn's the most underseeded team in this tournament. Yeah, so really, really interesting on where uh, where Auburn fits into this. And as you guys keep saying, if UConn wasn't there, a lot of more people would be uh, jumping on uh, jumping on Auburn. Uh, there are some people jumping on a big first-round upset. Cut eight, Rockstar. It involves Will Wade. Will Wade, now the coast coach at McNeese State. What are they, 30-3 and three on the year? Is that yeah, right? beating their opponents by 19.5 points per game, I, I, which is the largest margin of victory in this field. After Will Wade, I got something on that stat, though. Okay, Look so, at that shit-eating granny he's got. <laughs> there he is. They're playing Gonzaga. And everyone's saying, well, this isn't the Gonzaga of old. It's not, but Gonzaga is still a pretty good basketball team with some quality wins this year. A lot of people think, think that this guy's McNeese State team pulls the upset. You know, just knowing some of the things that you've been through personally, you know, some of the adversity that, that, that you've been through. You can say it. I got know. fired. Yeah, I mean, I think, look, it's <laughs> – it's not about me, but yeah. we have a lot of guys who have overcome a lot of adversity, too, to get here. If you look at our roster, I mean, it's littered with transfers from multiple schools, transfer, you know, guys who have overcome a lot of things to get here. And I think that's what bonded all of us. You know, we're all kind of a mismatch group, and we've come together pretty quick because, you know, everybody, everybody's got a common thread that, you know, we all need each other. We all need a McNeese, and McNeese needed all of us. And so it's kind of bonded all of us. Uh, all of us together as a uh, as a group, and that's been the, that's been the most rewarding and most exciting part of the year. I like him or not, the guy can coach. Uh, yeah, there is no doubt, and and you wonder how long this cloud will hover over him because if you want a good coach, you know Chris Beard was able to get out of it pretty quickly, and obviously the job's not even close from Texas to uh, Ole Miss, but Will Wade at McNeese State, you know they win a game, and a lot of people, and I think you've got them done away beating Gonzaga. I do not. Gonzaga okay. goes deep for me. Okay, I've got Gonzaga beating McNeese, but I, he is going to be back on people's radars, and it's sooner than later he will get a big time job. Uh, I would say this about that brownie: uh, I think Beard's cloud was a more difficult thing to overcome than what Will Wade is now, because everything that Will Wade did that got him in trouble is absolutely legal now. Yep. yep. No, you're right. Uh, my point on their record, it is a good record, McNeese State. Uh, have you ever heard of Bible studies? Um, I've done them. I've never played them. Yeah, that's a team. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I don't, well, look, man, I, I say, get it. The, the schedule. I'm and, not done. And, yeah. they, and they don't have any size. Uh, Champ yeah. Christian. You ever heard of Champ Christian? Are they in your field? Um, that, that was uh, the theme for our, uh, what's it called, yeah. uh, Vacation Bible School right. one year. I mean, I, yeah, it's like it's it's – like McNeese is playing in a church league. Yeah, they're playing the team. What was the documentary that I saw that played IMG? Oh, yeah. Uh, that team Sycamore. That, yeah. Bishop Sycamore. Letourneau. Have you guys heard of Letourneau? Le, Letourneau? It's very French. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's where Joe Paterno would have coached. Uh, uh, if, uh, Letourneau. He, if, if it were French. He kicked him to the yeah. curb. Uh, Mississippi University. Do they call that Ole Miss? Or is that University of Mississippi? Oh, I think Mississippi University used to be a women's college. Uh, it is, Jim. Mississippi University. For women, yes, on their schedule, yes, uh, 338th at Kim Palm is that strength? Oh, schedule. I had them at 313, so 338, 338 is yeah. what I just saw in Kim Palm in their yeah. adjusted strength of schedule. So, um, forgive me if I don't buy into McNeese's 30 and 3 record with a schedule that they played. I'm not sure they played a ranked team all year. Well, I, I don't think they do have a win over UAB, though. They did, 81-60. Yeah. yeah pretty no, big. you're absolutely right. It might, 21. Yeah, it yeah. might be their best win. I mean, be. I'm just scanning their schedule right here. There's not another one 
In fact, I'm not certain that's the only co- uh, the only tournament team they played. Uh, uh, our friends at Gutter Cap bring you the show. We're into the final hour of the show now, closing in on the tip of tournament time. I'll tell you about what's waiting on us in the lobby as soon as uh, LT tells us about Gutter Cap. Yeah, basketball has its madness in March, but homeowners who clean their gutters, they have it all year long. Eliminate your gutter cleaning madness forever with Gutter Cap. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205-823-2212. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau for two decades. On the board of director, uh, gutter cap patent aluminum cover system. It fits over most existing gutters. Eliminate that dangerous job of cleaning or getting on a ladder and cleaning out your gutters. 45% off right now for the retail price. Cap it, don't snap it. 205-823-2212 or guttercapbirmingham.com. Champy's Chicken is waiting on us. Sterling is here. Uh, he's got a, I don't know what's on the pattern, but it looks like a very Hawaiian-like uh, festive shirt on. So it's oh. a Bama, one of those... Uh, Bama Hawaiian shirts? Yeah. Oh, I did not notice the logos there. So uh, Sterling is here. He's got the hand-cut chicken fingers. He's got the uh, overnight brined uh, deep-fried chicken. Hope he brought me two big white breasts. Uh, all the wonderful sides, the Mississippi Delta tamales. You can get all that great March Madness food right there on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Open for lunch and dinner to go orders to take it and watch the tournament at home. Or you can stay in their beautiful facility there, great bar area, and watch the games with Sterling and his wonderful crew right there in Alabaster, Highway 119. Let's eat. It is tournament time here on the next round. Everything Alabama, all the time. Subscribe and set alerts at Roll Tide Pods on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. This hour of the next round is presented by the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, now featuring seven days of giveaways with your chance to win a share of up to $125,000. The more you visit the Birmingham Racecourse Casino, the more chances you have to win. The World Wide Web is a large place. Find all your favorite people and content in the same spot. NextRoundLive.com is full of wonderful tidbits about the show you know and love. Find our gear, listen to your favorite personalities, follow our socials, and enjoy your trip to NextRoundLive.com. Did you know that colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America and that it affects men and women equally? If you're older than 45, Rump Shaker encourages you to talk to your doctor about screening options that are available. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, but early detection is the key. For more information, please visit us. Go to rumpshakerinc.org. Also, 6th Annual Rump Shaker 5K coming up Saturday, March 23rd at Regents Field. You can register online, rumpshakerinc.org. Hey, let me tell you about our friends at Urology Centers of Alabama. Compassionate and comprehensive urological care with 35 physicians, 17 locations across Alabama. Their patient-centered approach to all of your urological needs. Remember, they've got that new men's health center. It is beautiful, helping men with a wide range of sensitive male issues in a comfortable environment. You can always go online, visit urologycentersalabama.com, schedule an appointment with one of their many urologists today. Stop by the New York Butcher Shop and pick up the finest in certified Angus prime beef steaks and burgers, premium pork chops, ribs, and all-natural chicken cut to order just for you. Their chef-prepared entrees and side dishes are the perfect dinner-to-go choice for your family and are ready to heat at home. With a great selection of fine wines and desserts, the New York Butcher Shop is your one-stop dinner shop. Two locations to serve you, Cahaba Heights and on Highway 119 in Greystone, the New York Butcher Shop. Rare quality, well-done service. Just because you've quit going to the gym, it doesn't mean that you have to quit gym altogether. Dunaway, that is. With our next round podcasts open 24-7, 365, you can access gym anytime you'd like. While you may have done away with your treadmill routine, our version of Dunaway is standing by ready to get you back to your absolute best. Find all that lovely Jimmy D-led content on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and in the podcast section of nextroundlive.com. This message is sponsored by Jimmy Crypto Inc. and Jimmy Crypto for President. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, you're in the red zone for every college rivalry and divisional matchup all season long. On game day, you never have to decide which teams to watch. Only what combination of bites, burgers, wings, and more to order. Plus, where else are your favorite draft beers always poured at a frozen 29 degrees? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late night bites. Only at Twin Peaks. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. 
Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. See what you just said, LT. Uh, our friend Tom Hart, his final four. He has got Illinois, which if you watch him this past weekend, that is in, in Brad Underwood can coach. Terrence Chan right. really good. He's got Kentucky. We all agree, really talented. Tennessee, got no problem with that. But he's got New Mexico. And I, by my count, two different people have New Mexico in their final fours. He has got Illinois winning it all. That seems like a little bit of a stretch. It's a weird final four and a weird champion. But the New Mexico love is just at an all-time I'm telling high. You, I think yeah. something got passed around by the ESPN analytics people because you heard Reese talking about New Mexico yesterday. There's Tom, who is part of the ESPN family. Andrea Carter is one of those that's got it in her final four. She's on game day. I just, I seriously think, like there was some email that circulated and there was this New Mexico stat everybody jumped How on. How far do you have New Mexico going? Because um, I've got them losing to Clemson in the first round. I've got them beating Clemson. I've got them then, beating Clemson, losing to Baylor. Yeah. Okay. Got oh, yeah, Baylor you got Baylor in the Final Four. In the Final Four. Yeah. So yeah. if New Mexico is as good as everybody makes out, that's another Final Four team I could lose. Conrad says, which autograph app do you download? There are five different ones. Can we put up the QR code? Again, real quick, Conrad, if you'll just get this QR code or uh, you just look for that logo right here, see where fandom gets you. You can shoot that QR code that's on your screen right now, Conrad. Or you can just look for that autograph app right there. It looks like an A with a dot in the middle of it. Uh, but use code TNR, whichever one you download there, Conrad. That's the one you're looking for. Lunsford has just dropped a link right there in um the chat room for you conrad or anyone else who wants to uh get that autograph out which is bringing you our coverage from spokane with little t who is out there the show also brought to you by our friends with the birmingham squadron next to last home game is tonight seven o'clock legacy arena the squadron and the magic two biggest scorers in town uh in the league in the g league playing again it is also women's empowerment night down there two dollars from every tickets purchased goes directly to benefit uh, the Forge Breast Cancer Survivor Center here in town. So every ticket you buy tonight uh, goes to a good cause. It's T-shirt night. The first 500 fans through the gate gets a T-shirt and a whole lot more fun with the Birmingham Squadron. Uh, BirminghamSquadron.com, BirminghamSquadron.com, or you can uh, buy those tickets right there uh, at the gate at Legacy tonight, 7 o'clock. Final home game is coming up on March 30th. Uh, also at Legacy. So just two more chances to see the G League right there. All right, we're going to do Rockstar's four downs in about five minutes after the first tip of the first game, Michigan State, Mississippi State. So we'll get to that in about five minutes here. Um, just before we start this, give me a thought on this tournament coming up. Um, we, we've unveiled our brackets and everything. Is there... Um, is there anything you have left to say about this tournament before the chaos starts? Well, you know, we, I, I feel like you're more chalky than yeah, you. Yeah, well, I, I am. I, I, and, and I will tell you why. And I think and it's, you are too? It's, yes. It's, I, it's, I didn't realize it until y'all brought it up, Lance. I'm the first one that this is the first time I'm not chalky. I told yeah. Brown earlier I usually play this so conservative just to try to finish second place. Uh, okay, so if you were part of Merch Madness, and a 15 or a 16 upsets a one or a two over the next couple of days, you're getting everything refunded. With that said, 15 seed has won a first round game of three consecutive tournaments. They've all gone to a sweet 16. Double digit seed has advanced to the sweet 16 in 15 consecutive tournaments and 36 to 38. I think with NIL now, you are not going to see as much of that. You'll get a couple this year, but I think it's going to be dying off more and more. And unfortunately, I think you're going to get more chalk moving forward. I didn't realize this until you guys brought it up. My Sweet 16, uh, the worst seeded team I've got in it is a six seed. The, really? That's the worst. That's BYU. That is the worst team I've got in my Sweet 16. Sweet 16 never plays out that way. Like, I didn't even look at it, Lance, until you guys were talking about double digit seats going to the Sweet 16. I'm like, I don't think I've got a double digit seat going to the Sweet 16. And then I looked, I was like, my word, I don't have anything worse than a six seed going to the yeah, Sweet Yeah, I've got a six in South Carolina, a seven in Florida, a five in Wisconsin, a six in San Diego State. I've got BYU like you, a six, seven in Washington State, five in St. Mary's. So yours is that much crazier. Uh, Clemson is a six, Dayton's a seven. So I've got a lot of sixes and sevens. Yeah, I don't you, have any doubles. Yeah, you don't have any double digits. So Dunaway, Lance and I do not have a very chaotic bracket. So if you could get some chaos, I, I guess you've got some, huh? Uh, I've got a one seed, a two seed, 
a three seed and a four seed uh, in my final four. So that's not too chalky, right? Uh, I mean, it's top four seeds. Do you guys catch yourself pulling for teams that you've got advancing, but you still want them to lose? Sometimes. I do find myself conflicted a lot in this tournament. Like, I really... <laughs> I apologize. I haven't heard a word you said the last seven minutes. I had to get my early window, mybookie.ag. No, uh, that's fine. Thoughts in real quick. Like, I would love... <laughs> I would absolutely well love... Well thought out, by the way. I just threw them out there. Boom, uh, boom. Go ahead. I've got it. UConn playing for the national championship. I would love if Stetson beat Dan Hurley. I would love it. It would never happen in a million years. You can play this game a thousand times, and the Hatters don't beat them. You know, it's funny... But I say, would love it. Yeah, Stetson's not going to do it. But you know who could do it? And it's one reason I had I, I had a little less fear taking Auburn. That sneaky FAU. If FAU somehow survives Northwestern, that's a team that was in this situation last year. It's a veteran group. They're not playing good right now, LT. But they are a team that has been here. And if they can get up and find a little of their mojo from last year, that group is still all together. They've been there before. If they survive Northwestern in that, in that first game, it's a tricky little game for well, UConn. Best tricky I saw. little game for UConn. Then it could be FAU Auburn in the Sweet 16, and then whose pick looks better then? Well, look, John you? L. Davis is a guy that can take a game over. Uh, Vlad Golden is really good, uh, a good physical presence that can. That, that's got some skill on the post. But watching Dusty May squad, they're just a little off this year. They look really good in a pre-Christmas game against Arizona and an upset there. But I don't think UConn gets challenged at Brooklyn. I bet they're staying at the St. Regis in New York. <laughs> um, they can roll out of bed, and they will beat the eyes out of Stetson and the winner of Florida Atlantic and Northwestern. They will not be tested until they get to Boston. And then it gets tricky because then you got Auburn, and then maybe you've got an Iowa State or an Illinois, and I think it becomes a little more difficult for UConn. Do you worry about uh, Dusty May franning it up, though, Dunaway? Um, on yeah, this Louisville I mean, job? I mean, he's obviously up for a lot of good jobs, well, including Louisville, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean. Uh, his next loss is going to be his last game at Florida Atlantic, to your point. Oh, you think so? You think he's going to take one of these oh, jobs? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you, can't, you can't sustain Florida Atlantic. I, mean, I, 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 was surprised, so. I was surprised he came back. Were you not? It just wasn't the right jobs that opened up. This year, there's a lot of good jobs that opened up. Yeah. I mean, right now, you, we still have – Ohio, Ohio State's no, they no, they went their Mich interim. Michigan, yeah, Michigan open. Louisville open. Michigan yeah, Louisville. Let, let's just say that he'll Dust take one of those. Dusty May's already agreed in principle, just verbally. Right. I still think, based on what his team did last year, it's going to be full focus, knowing that they could catch magic again. I, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know why you would tap out on focus now. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I just wonder. I given the choice. I guess I would say it this way, Lance. Given the choice of an uh, of the FAU of last year, where he was going nowhere, versus an FAU. If he were going somewhere, I'd far rather him not be going anywhere. I just yeah. don't like anything involved when a coach is about to take another job and he's still coaching. He was hungry last year. Yeah, not, and I'm not, not saying he would. Year. I'm not saying he would tap out, but even if your mind wanders just a little bit, like I mean, this is a this is a tournament that is mentally challenging. So even if it wanders just a little bit because of a new job, you're at a disadvantage. All right, Humphreys, Davis, Matthews. Uh, and uh, Smith on the court for Mississippi State. Have you noticed? They, 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 <laughs> normally, it's uh, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, graduate, graduate, yeah. graduate. It's like these guys. Look, there is no more class. Nope. You have graduated. Well, you I'm did it online, and uh, just go play basketball. I, I wonder though, Josh Hubbard. He's a special player, and he's a guy that is not going to the NBA. I mean, he might in a couple of years. He's just so undersized. But can Mississippi State keep a guy like Josh Hubbard? Uh, he missed his first shot uh, from just inside the arc. Um, I, we can't do play-by-play. -play, yeah, but keep, you are. But it's 0-0. Zero, zero yeah, 19, keep shooting. But do you guys left. think that Chris Jans can keep? I mean, because if I'm Mississippi State, obviously football is going to be your priority. But, man, you got to have some some money set aside for this this collective in basketball, and that is your priority. Well, I think Jans is, is a perfect fit for Mississippi State, and I think he will be a pain in SEC, the SEC's side. I don't think he'll ever win the regular season, but I think there'll be a consistent tournament team every year with him there. I think he's that yeah, good. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah. All right. So underway, fitting that Tom Izzo, 26 straight uh, NCAA tournaments. He uh, is the first game out of the gate today, sort of fitting there. Never know when it's going to be Izzo's uh, last tournament. And this could be it right there. We'll keep an eye on uh, Miss Michigan State, Mississippi State, and the other games that are underway. Show being brought to you by Legacy. Before we do our four downs, LegacyCreditUnion.com to learn about engaged checking and everything Legacy offers you. But also, right now, specialty 
is the Swap and Drop program. Swapanddrop.com. In a nutshell, Brandon, can you explain Swap and Drop while I get something out? Uh, I certainly can, Jim. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Swapanddrop.com is where you go. You swap your rate, uh, you swap your loan to Legacy, I, and you yeah. drop it to a lower rate, swap and drop. It's pretty simple. Yeah, swapanddrop.com, truck, a car loan, or anything. And uh, Forrester, if you put me back on camera real quick, hold on while I whip this out. Uh huh. They've got this new local <laughs> Monopoly game. tan in your meat again. <laughs> <laughs> they got this new local Monopoly game. Notice how I lean, lean it forward so it doesn't reflect. God, Jim, you're amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Legacy's his name is on every dollar that's yep. on, in here in the money. Uh-huh. That's in here. Legacy's in here. A lot of great Birmingham iconic uh, places on here. Uh, and Brown's in charge of the jail. You go to jail, and Ryan Brown's got to let you out of the jail. But this Monopoly game locally it's here with our Ellisville. friends at Legacy. We were gifted these yesterday. We were, cool. yeah. yeah. Legacy brought those up to uh, to the company here. So one day we were sitting around board. We just play Monopoly. Yeah. Say if I'm handcuffed to somebody for 24 hours is and I'm why, up here. Is that why they call that a board game? A board Game. Uh, yeah. yeah, I get what you said. Uh, dr- uh, swapanddrop.com. Swapanddrop.com. All right, LT, let's do uh, four downs. Rockstar has them today. LT, tell us about Slice. Uh, Slice, fantastic place. That newest location. There's four right now. The Lakeview, the original, Montevallo, Crestline Park, Vestavia. But coming soon, <laughs> Edgewood will be open any day now. Had an opportunity to go in there with the Bajaya Brothers just this past Monday. Local pizza, local ingredients from the Soul Pie, the Bajaya Special, the Hot Mama. You're going to absolutely love it. For more information, SliceBirmingham.com. Tyler says, I heard they use Jim for Mr. Monopoly in this one. That's a, <laughs> like it's a like PT like, money bag. Like that. Good line. Good line. <laughs> from the thimble. Go ahead, Rockstar. First down. What is a surprising backstory of someone you thought you knew very well? Clay Aiken. Uh, <laughs> I think we, we, we knew Clay <laughs> Aiken. That surprising? We, how about Samuel L. Jackson? Turned 75 back in December. I don't know if you guys know this about him. Went to Morehouse College. Really smart guy. Great actor. But after the assassination of MLK, uh, he was really pissed off, and him and some other um, students at Morehouse got a bunch of guns, and they held the alumni, or they held a lot of the Board of Trustees hostage, including MLK's father, MLK Sr. Really? Yeah, and so, I mean, and these were guys that were arrested. He was on an FBI uh, you know, watch list for a long time, but he has quite the history. I didn't know any of that. I, I really didn't either. Has that been like... Is there a documentary or anything on that? Have you I haven't seen a see documentary. It it's just something it? over the last, you know, 35 years of watching his movies. Um, but but he's got a he would be, and he's got it in his claws in every movie that he gets to play golf whenever he wants. Right. So I knew that. He, he's a fascinating guy. I mean, mine was far less socially important, but Tiger Woods. I mean, I, I don't. I, I don't guess. I mean, that is a busy schedule. That was that was busy the schedule. surprising part about it was the busy schedule and. The strength, of, the strength of that schedule, too, yeah. was, was not as great as you thought it would be. Oh, okay. I, when a backstory, I always think it's before you became famous. No, like what, well, you know, my, my example was we used to work with somebody, and I saw that this person had a tattoo that was coming out of their shoulder, and I said, what's the meaning of your tattoo? And it's a long story. And I was like, well, can you shorten? He's like, I was raised in a cult. Oh wow! Yeah. Yes. Okay, that is very short. And that's, I was like, she was, our she, friend. Uh, yeah, and she started explaining yeah. it, and I was like, oh my god! And like she was, she was playing the tattoo, and I was like, I would. She's like, it's a long. I was like, I would love to hear that story. Yeah, because have, I have known like raised in a cult. So wow, that was my, I think I don't know. I don't know what the percentage. What is the percentage of people that have really, really interesting stories like I thought that? You're gonna ask me the percentage of people raised in a cult. Um, oh, that's which small. Is very low. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Lance. I don't know what the percentage is, but that one was fascinating. I've never heard it from her personally, but Rockstar recounted it to us. Yeah, I was ne- like, wow, okay, wow. Yeah, never really got the full story, but it was like, yeah. damn, okay. Yeah. I think she's only like 20. She has lived a life. She really has 20, at so. her age. Yeah. Is, is, it, is it a Texas A&M logo? That's no, no, it's a big it bird. No, <laughs> it's a big bird. It's big bird from Sesame Street. You're thinking of the. <laughs> A, bird. Not friend. Big Bird. It's a, a, a Big a Bird. Large bird. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't it's have really a like time. Sesame I don't know anybody with a big backstory. Oh uh, well. Uh, what is an actor you loved watching but now have kind of soured on? Uh, look. So again, Mine watching. Mine is Leo. Huh? Mine is DiCaprio. DiCaprio? Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. Uh, I was, was kind of like I just don't I don't like this that he's the guy that. Christian Bale saying like I think whatever role I get I like to thank uh, Leo DiCaprio for de- declining it because every role goes to him oh. and he, he's a good actor Revenant was so overrated his performance um, 
and he was a great actor. What's eating Gilbert Grape? He's a good actor, but then these roles where he's just Mr. Big Shot now. Uh, I, I, Tyler with a good one, Will Smith. It's hard to look at him the same yeah. way, Tyler. So one. to Leo, though, Leo still does great work and takes great films, in my opinion. And Robert De Niro, you know, watching recently this week, uh, The Godfather 2. Maddie never, has never seen it, so we're watching that. Stop and there. Just watching De Niro and how good of an actor he was in the 70s to the 80s to the early 90s, and then he just doesn't care. Yeah. I mean, you know, he was with Leo. Um, you know, Flower, in, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, Killers of the Flower Moon with uh, Scorsese this year. But before that, I can't remember. Dirty Grandpa. Yeah. Like, you know, Jack and his buddies are watching this, and I'm like, you're, you're getting skewed on Robert De Niro. This is he, not Robert De Niro. That would have been mine, too, because of what you're saying. I just He, he, he could have... I guess you got to work. You want to take these roles to they make had an money. Expensive divorce. Yeah, to make money, but, but take good roles. You're ruining your legacy, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I think he has. Well, I, I mean, I, I hate to go the the Godfather theme, but mine was Al Pacino. I just thought the longer Al Pacino went, the seedier he got. You didn't watch Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler? I've not that seen that. That's a great Pacino role. Yeah. yeah. Was it really though? No I, joke. No, oh. it's, just, it's Adam Sandler. Yeah, I mean, I I liked him obviously in The Godfather, but just the longer he went, the seedier yeah. looking he got. I'm not saying he was a seedy person. I just I didn't like his late. But roles. watching Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, and I had it on like Sunday morning, just putting it on. And if you're in sales, it is a depressing but great sales movie. But that ensemble cast and Pacino's part of it oh, yeah. with Jack Lemmon. Uh, Alec Baldwin, it's fantastic. Yeah, I tried to steer away from like Kevin Spacey. I mean, that's an obvious one, Spacey's on there too, by the way. He's in that that movie. I mean, he's a phenomenal actor, and I liked a lot of his roles, but then you... Has he been canceled? I guess he was kind of the... Also, the answer to the surprising backstory. He was very (laughs) hands-on. Yes. I I told you guys that backstory You did. No, you did. You did. I didn't know it was quite as deep as that, Lance. Third down. What should be free? How about air? You go, you pull into a gas station, they charge you for air. Is air not free? I thought you meant like breathing air. Uh, I guess you're paying for the machine yeah, that provides yeah, the and air. The location. Uh, chips and salsa, if you're at a sit-down Mexican joint, I've been to one before. They're like, your second round of chips and salsa is going to be yeah. you know, four or five bucks. And I'm like, no. One I, of my favorite place places back in the day, um, it was... Cantina. It was, it was never. It was never free. Yeah. It was always... Yeah. Always Cantina was it. great. I yeah. loved it. But that was the only fall out of I'd tell my friends, they'd say, hey, we're in town. What's the best Mexican? I'd say, oh, go here. And and uh, I said, but be warned. You got to pay. And they were like, where else were you going to go? And yeah. I was like, well, they had like Tuesday night was the lobster tacos. They were fantastic. But then I'd be like, can I get a side of salsa? He has to be a buck. You got to charge for salsa? I've, I've, the only time I've ever seen this, I was in college at Jack State, and there was a Mexican joint we used to go to for lunch because it was pretty cheap. Not Taco Bell, but like a legit sit-down Mexican joint. And we sat down, and there was this uh, there was this guy that used to ride around a bicycle uh, all over Jacksonville, and he comes in, he sits down, and they put the chips and salsa down. He orders water, right? And then the guy comes back to get the order. He goes, uh, "Y'all got hot dogs?" And the uh, server's like, uh, "No." And he goes, ah, I'll just have this. And he reaches down and picks up the chips and salsa and walks away, leaves yeah. it with the water. It's like, you think you're going to sit here and eat for free, free chips and salsa as long as you're drinking alcohol or you've got a meal. That's right. That's a great point. I'm going to go with Daniel's. Uh, on an airplane at this point, Wi-Fi. Well, it sucks anyway most yeah. of the time. I mean, just give me the ability to uh, receive a text while I'm flying through the air. Uh, don't make me turn my phone off. Uh, we all know that's, uh, I don't think it, it really impacts the air travel. Yeah, I've seen the uh, Mythbusters on that one. Yeah, it doesn't so, impact so it. Let's don't worry about Are the, uh, is it not free on most airlines now? Uh, most of them, I think, is, is it? getting to yeah. that point. Well, last I think few I've get, flown, it's free, but you've got an upgrade You level. can upgrade to get yeah. better. better. But you can Wi-Fi. at least get on it. Yeah. yeah. Fourth down. What movie scene always gives you goosebumps every time you watch it? Uh, Colonel Frank Slag, back to Al Pacino, Son of a Woman, 1992. Uh, the final scene when uh, Chris O'Donnell's character doesn't want to throw George Willis, Philip so- Seymour Hoffman, and the, all the other guys under the bus. So he's about to get thrown out. And that's when uh, Al Pacino says he's going to take a flamethrower to the Baird School. And just his speech about the integrity of Chris O'Donnell's character. It's just Charlie. It's uh, it's one of those scenes when I first saw it, I was like, damn, he won Best Actor for that. But I always get chills when I see that one. Yeah. I got it. The park bench scene of Goodwill Hunting. Every time. Oh, yeah? Every time. Like, that's such a good scene. All right. Mine, mine are going to be kind of cheesy, but, I mean, when Jimmy Chitwood makes the three in Hoosiers and they celebrate. He I can make get, it. Huh? I can make it. I can make it. He didn't get caught watching the paint dry. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, Phoebe, Gates, and Fast Times. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, another one for me, kind of random, but uh, the late scene in Apollo 13, when they 
realize they've gotten back and then the uh, mission control celebrates i get chills every time i see that yeah. i like that movie i would agree with that too uh laura i remember that i saw it in the theater still magnolias uh I, you guys know i'm emotionally you a woman up see here that in the theater yeah but uh yeah i mean it was out then yeah. and when shelby is sick get sick it's oh. a sad scene i'll tell you the most emotional movie or maybe a scene in a movie would be back to school ronnie dangerfield when he when he completes the triple indie oh yeah <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't he jump platform <laughs> oh, yeah. to platform? He tests the wind, man. And he's got, <laughs> he's got like, he's got the one piece on, right? Oh, yeah. Well, you wanna, I'm not going shirtless. If I'm doing this thing, I'm not going shirtless. <laughs> I literally, I thought, let's set a Bryant song or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The like triple Lindy. Lunsford's right. Uh, when Paul Walker drives off at the end of Furious 7 is emotional. Yeah. Uh, Chris, yeah, you o, didn't o Captain. See that. O yeah, Captain. You have no idea. Yeah, I've seen clips. Uh, Chris H, O Captain, my Captain, seen from Dead Poets Society. Can I yeah. say I feel like that's a little bit cheesy? Uh, I thought I Dead mean, Poet Society was good. No, I meant that scene in particular. And uh, they all stand uh, up on their desk. I, I think that's I cheesy. Will, I will allow it. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's it. That's Four Downs today brought to you by our friends at Slice. We appreciate them so much. Lunch up here right now with Champies. Uh, Michigan State out to an early 15-8 lead. A 15 to 8 over Mississippi State in the first game of the NCAA tournament. Other action about to tip off, including uh, in these early games, you've got BYU and Duquesne and Creighton and Akron going on. But right now, one game going Michigan State, 15 to 8. Make that 18 to 8 as the Spartans are out early to a 10 point lead over the SEC's Mississippi State Bulldogs. Quick time out there from Chris Jans. Let's calm everything down. We'll do trash when we come back. The show being brought to you today by our friends at at Woodhouse Day Spa. Hey, hey! so you've still got time <laughs> to send the uh, wife or girlfriend to the Woodhouse Day Spa located conveniently at the Summit Shopping Centers. They've got a March Madness special. The idea here is you want to go watch all the games with the uh, the guys today, tomorrow, for, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Send your wife or girlfriend to the Woodhouse Day Spa located right there at Summit Shopping Centers. You can choose from a menu of over 70 options, including massages, body treatment, skin care, waxing, nail services. You can order gift cards online 24-7 at Birmingham.WoodhouseSpas.com. Just stop by, see Stewart and that great staff. Tell them the next round sent you. Everything next round is on demand now in the podcast section at NextRoundLive.com. You could win a Cadillac CT5 or your share of $25,000 in free play and cash at Birmingham Racecourse Casino. The more you visit, the more chances you have to win. Play the latest, most exciting games around with fun bonuses and big jackpots. You can be a winner, too. Come win your share during the Cadillac CT5 and $25,000 giveaway at Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Drawings April 5th and 6th. Located off I-459, exit 31, Derby Parkway. Must be 21 or older, must be present to win. Storm season is here. Make sure you have a plan of action in place right now. Greg from Pell City and Storm Restoration Roofing should be your first call when storms hit. Insurance companies love working with Storm Restoration Roofing because of Greg Nelson's name and reputation in the industry. When storms hit, call Greg Nelson. He's local. 205-542-3531. He's the home of the free no-cost roof inspection. Greg from Pell City on Facebook. 205 542 3531. It's Storm Restoration Roofing. You never know what we're up to here at the next round. The easiest way to stay in the know with our antics and adventures is to follow the next round across all social media platforms at Next Round Live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Whether it's Dunaway sleeping in the studio, Tim and Lunsford breaking down the latest movie release, or Game Day Chronicles, we are here to keep you updated on the latest sports news while, of course, having just a little bit of fun. Follow at Next Round Live across all platforms to join in. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or Michelson and laservision.com is coke zero sugar the best coke ever man that's a bold question but it's got that irresistible taste to back it up one thing's for sure when you've got an irresistible tasty match like zero sugar and zero calories something sensational is bound to happen 
It's too bad you can't taste it with your ears because this Coke Zero Sugar tastes amazing. Truthfully, it's hard to put into words, and that's my job. You'll have to take a taste for yourself. Coke Zero Sugar, best Coke ever? Visit nextroundlive.com today. It's free, unless you haven't paid your internet bill. So go ahead and pay that, and then it's free. Heck, you can pull out your phone and go to nextroundlive.com right now, where you'll find all the free content that you can stomach, unless you haven't paid your phone bill. Then you need to pay that, and then you can enjoy all the free content. Nextroundlive.com is so rewarding that it should be behind a paywall, like Lance's Lock. So in summary, play Lance's Lock. Then you'll have enough money to pay your bills, and go to nextroundlive.com, where you're always at your happiest, for free. One way you know when we've got Champy's Chicken up here is that um, we come back from break, and I'm usually by myself. Because uh, Brownie and LT are out there enjoying a nice, nice spread from Champy's Chicken on Highway 119 in Alabaster. That's what a lot of the crew is doing. Rockstar, did you have one of the chicken fingers? I got two of them. I'm, uh, I'm slowly uh, consuming them. I'm doing it so quickly during the break, it's making me hiccup. Yeah. Oh, Forrester in the very back. Uh, Forrester, get your butt up and walk that closer to the camera. I just here. got a tamale. Are, are they spicier than normal? Are those spicier than normal, Sterling? No. They're good. This, this is the last third of the chicken fingers you hear me here you, you uh listen to me talk about the hand cut chicken fingers all that's the last third i've already devoured most of it yeah big plate back there in the back room champy's chicken highway 119 in alabaster uh but they bring you this hour this part of the show being brought to you by storm restoration roofing greg from pell city i mean he's by champy's chicken all the time when he's not on your roof get him on your roof today free no cost roof inspection no obligation 205-542-3531 205-542-3531. A-plus rated with a Better Business Bureau. Insurance companies trust him. Whether it's a free no-cost roof inspection, whether it's replacing an old roof, storm damage, whatever it is, Greg will take care of you. Family-owned, family-operated, and now a lot of family members running each crew. It is Storm Restoration Roofing, 205-542-3531. 20 to 8, Michigan State's up. First game going NCAA tournament. We're at Odie's later today, 4 to 6. We're at Greystone, location of walk-ons tomorrow. Uh, throughout the day, multiple shows out there tomorrow. But right now, as always, it is time for Trash. <laughs> Working for Marvel, the Super Bowl commercial. Did you get a lot of reaction to that Super Bowl commercial? What Super Bowl commercial? Oh, you know what? I've been my mistake. I, you know, what? Please, right. I'm not Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> That's my fault. Oh, I know boy. that. That was my fault. LT's trash is presented by Mortgage Right. Mortgages done the right way. Did the new year add to your financial uncertainty? Let the experts at Mortgage Right help get your financial house in order. Their team of experts can make sure you're prepared for anything 2024 may bring, including freeing up cash, the things you need to get done. Take control today. Visit Mortgage Right at their location, Highway 280. You can apply mortgageright.com slash TNR. Call 205-815-9200, NMLS 2239, equal housing lender. I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. But a man has been banned for Bucky's from Bucky's for life. Oh man, what I've never, I've never been. Can I take his place? Uh, boy, it is it is sensory. Rockstar would hate it. Sensory overload and the smells. There's a million different smells. I mean, some are good, some are interesting. I went to my first one in Austin and I saw like there's like 200 gas pumps and they're all taken. Oh yeah, they're yeah. all taken. Covered and it's up. just like you walk in. There's like a candy wall and it's just like you can get clothing i'm just like but you know what's wild it's insane they don't have a ton of registers there's never a line at a register no i'll tell you they what, don't have a lot of them but there's billions of people in there two crazy things that i learned when we brought one to leeds they don't sell gift cards because i was gonna get the kids some for their stocking stuffers which is really interesting that why you wouldn't sell gift cards at bucky's with all of that stuff the other thing when you're walking into the bathroom it's like you're going into halftime of a stadium because so many people are going in and out of the yeah. bathroom it's nonstop. But, I mean, it's. I'll give them this. It's not my thing because it is big and crowded. They keep it clean, well stocked. I mean, it's got a lot going for it. Yes. But it, you got you got to be willing to be with people. So here's the story: a man who took his service duck inside of a Bucky's in Tennessee ended up getting banned from the convenience store chain, uh, chain according to his YouTube video. Now, self-described juggler Justin Wood runs the YouTube channel C Duck Live or C Duck TV which highlights uh, trips taken with his service animal, Wrinkle the Duck. The channel has about 2.7 million subscribers. Another example, people have way too much time on their hands. In a video posted last month, Wood can be seen shopping at Bucky's with Wrinkle, who is in mostly uh, a stroller, but occasionally comes out to give shoppers a high five with his beak. Upon yeah. entering the store, 
Wood is told by an employee that pets are not allowed in the store. That's when Wood responds that Wrinkle is a service animal. Later on, second employee tells him pets aren't allowed. Wood again says Duck is a service animal and that he can provide the store with identification to prove it. One Bucky's employee says the problem is that Wrinkle is not restrained. Wood then asked if he would, if it's all right if he puts a leash on the duck. When told yes, he then pretends to put on an invisible leash. When they leave uh. the store, he's approached by an officer who tells him, not only are you banned from this Bucky, you're banned from all Bucky's for life. It, I don't think that officer has that uh, that that power. I really he? don't think so either. He did get a to go order of something. It appears though the officer's holding. No, a, that's his that's citation book. That's his clipboard. Oh, oh is okay. it? I thought he got a box of uh, brisket or something. Yeah, I'd buck love, nuts. Uh, what they call? Hey, thanks for coming out here, Officer Joe. <laughs> hey, look, here's a brisket sandwich and some uh, Bucky nuts. Yeah, those, I, I knew those buck nuts are good. After the Amber Heard. Um, court filing or whatever i knew that johnny depp had gone on the uh, lamb for a little bit <laughs> it is i didn't know he grew his hair out think he has savage or whatever it's called like, yeah. like, what do you do for a living i'm a juggler yeah. he's just playing guitar randomly in the middle of the <laughs> desert Howl and wolf yeah. hell yeah headline for that story is cue the duck a uh, real estate agent accidentally burned a multi-million dollar property to the ground while preparing for an open house My with bad. her employer ordered to pay more than $850,000 in damages. Hey, did you blow those candles out? <laughs> uh, real estate agent Julie Bunduk was preparing for an open house at a four-bed home on Sydney's northern beaches when she noticed the current renters of the house had left some bedding on the deck to dry. She removed the sheets, threw them in the downstairs room onto a shelf below the light, which she then switched on. About 20 minutes later, major fire broke out in the four-bedroom house. Ugh believed to be caused by the shelf and bedding heating up and catching fire due to the wall-mounted light. Now, the house, estimated to be around worth about $3 million, along with all of its contents, was destroyed. The owner of the property, Peter Bush, was preparing to sell the property, took the matter to court, as did the four renters of the property who had their belongings destroyed in the fire. That's when they were ordered to pay $740,000 and change to Mr. Bush, and a combined 121000 and change to the four renters. I don't know about this. You think she gets uh, real estate of the year? Of the uh, month? Probably not. Get a picture well, up. I mean, Jim Dunaway's you, America, what happens do here? You, do you think she I, was at fault, really, here? I mean, she just threw it onto a shelf that no. happened to have a mounted light that's not wired right or doesn't yeah. have the right no. bolt in it or something? I mean, look, unfortunate. Uh, I mean, Dunaway, I would, wait, let's say it's your house. Who do oh, you I would be upset, and I would want the insurance company yep. to pay something, but I don't think her employer should be on the hook for anything. Now, if she had if she had lit scented can candles and left them burning and it caught fire, or if she had thrown the blankets onto one of the candles and started the fire, yeah. or if she was baking cookies and left the oven on overnight and started the fire, now that's a different story. She she was cleaning up your mess and threw it onto a shelf on a perfectly assembled light by accident, may have laid something on it. I know Australia's got beautiful beaches, but looking at this, it looks like a lake house. Yeah. Um, if you see the Corona commercials, those are all filmed on Australia beaches. Oh, so, are they really? Yeah, so it, it looks beautiful. That does just not look like a beach house. My no. guess here, and I've, not, I've never worked at the insurance agency, um, my guess here is the real estate company probably is insured by one carrier. The homeowner was insured by the other, and they argue over who would be at fault here. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, my guess is that's why you had to assign blame there. I'm with you. Uh, it seems shaky, but you probably had a big battle on who was actually to blame. So which insurer knew they had to pay? I think very interesting. When Pete Davidson was in town a couple of months ago, I was talking to um, the comedy club, and they were telling me things that he demanded on his writer. And these are always fascinating to me. This is Mariah Carey, what she had to have backstage in 2010. Was there anything crazy about Pete Davidson's? Uh, not really. Okay. Not really. Um, and this one's not too crazy. It's just kind of interesting. Temperature, she's kind of uh, like Leon. Must be at 75 degrees. Oh, wow. That's way too hot. <laughs> is she doing hot sauna? Yeah. Way I don't too know what hot. she did, but like hot yoga, my bad. Like hot sauna. E even in the winter when I got the heat on, I don't want it to be at 75. Me either. Yeah. Now, no harsh lighting in the dressing room or bathroom. Multiple I'm, lamps in the dressing room and bathroom. I'm with her on that. I like darker. I like more light. Do you really? I do. Yeah. Uh, I like lamps with no overheads. <laughs> now, she wants one three-seat couch, one two-seat couch, two comfortable chairs. This furniture should be a plain color, no busy patterns. One mm. coffee table, three end tables, eight tall leafy plants, two vases of white roses, and here are the food and beverages. I was with her at the lights. Three bottles of Chardonnay chilled, one bottle of Opus One Cab, 12 vanilla protein shakes, one cheese platter with soft cheese and crackers, one bowl of fresh fruit, six bottles of Pellegrino, Four Joe Malone vanilla candles, four stem glasses, 
Six red wine glasses. You're not going to eat six. You only got one bottle of Cab. Unless you're pouring a little tiny, well, you tiny. The, you have the three Chardonnays, though, right? Um, yeah, the Chardonnays for the six white wine glasses. Oh, uh, we have yeah. different glasses so, for different wine glasses. Mariah yeah, Carey was talking about. glasses, I guess, are for the vanilla protein. Sorry, shakes. sorry, my trailer park is showing. <laughs> uh, I told you guys I was really excited about Heat having a prequel and a sequel from Michael Mann that will start uh, production this year in 2024. Yeah. Beetlejuice Pre- is returning. This is old preheat you were talking about, yep. now Beetlejuice? Yeah, it's been 36 years, but once again... Uh, they are reprising uh, Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton is going to return. Uh, it seems like uh, Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, they're going to reprise their roles. It doesn't look like Alec Baldwin is coming back. Regina um, Davis. Is Alec coming? He's still involved in that whole deal. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's been settled yet. I, I don't think, think it actually has. actually in court right now. Now, according to Tim Burton, who created the cult hit, the sequel picks up decades later with the death of the family. Quote, that's all I will say, he told Entertainment Weekly in an interview. One of the movies uh, you're always surprised, or maybe add to the list, you're surprised I have not seen is Beetlejuice. I have not seen Beetlejuice. And what's crazy is... Is it good? I, I think it's good. It's, it's Tim Burton. I, I just don't I've think you would Tim like Burton Tim guy. Burton. Yeah. I've never, that's yeah. like, I like I Edward Scissorhands. I like Beetlejuice. Yeah. It's like a, he's a self-titled. It's titled Beetlejuice, and I think the title character is in the movie for maybe 12 to 15 minutes oh, total. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I never watched it. Excellent movie. I enjoyed it. Oh, did you? Yep. You were in it. Uh, this is interesting. I'm just going to give you guys the headlines, then I'll get into the details. And it, it's amazing some of the dumb things that people do. A uh, student persuaded by his friend to get his legs amputated for $1.3 million insurance scam. Are you kidding wound me? Wound up getting only $7,200 that he now has to return. Uh, well, dude, shit. <laughs> tell you what, will y'all put my legs back on? Yeah. University student in Taiwan who had his legs amputated in hopes of receiving a $1.3 million insurance payout has been arrested on suspicion of fraud. Not only has he got to get the money back, he's been arrested. Yeah, yeah. and it doesn't have legs, I will yeah. point out. Yeah, That's going to be hard to get around uh, cell block B yep. with no legs. Now, the 23-year-old, identified only by his last name, Zhang, plunged his feet into a bucket of dry ice for more oh, than 10 hours. That's, the, that's an awful way of doing it. To get him so badly frostbitten that he would need double amputation. Now, the Bureau said a friend of Zhang's from high school, identified only as Lia, persuaded him to carry out the insurance scam. On January 26, 2023, Lia and Zhang rode around uh, on a motorbike at night, wanting to present the claim that Zhang was afflicted with frostbite while riding the vehicle later in the evening. (laughs) That was their plan? We'll just ride around. They'll think you got They saw Dumb and Dumber literally, right? I was about to say, Dumb and Dumber, Yeah. yeah. I mean, these are two criminal well, masterminds. Also, they didn't really think about the climate. Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. What was the temperature that night? Uh, not freezing. 78. Just days before, Zhang bought several in- expensive policies for life insurance, travel insurance, and accident insurance. After their motorbike, Zhang soaked his feet in the dry ice, admitted to the hospital. Medical staff sent something was amiss while assessing him. The weather on the night was nowhere close to below freezing <laughs> with its Coldest temperature at 42 degrees. If you'd have just waited for the Chiefs Dolphins game, he'd had a case, Jim. Uh, both yeah. have been arrested on fraud, aiding and abetting serious injury. Uh, local media reported that Jang has claimed $7,200 from one insurer, but the money has now been seized. So, I mean, the other friend, Reich right, Star, is maybe the most persuasive guy we've ever encountered. And I think that's like, him in cuffs because you can see he is walking a yeah, like, hey, He's Jane, not being drugged to jail. I got an idea. Hear me out. You want money? I want money, right? How often, unbelievable. How, how often do you use Each those of legs? us have a leg. No, 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 but you have two <laughs> legs. That's right. <laughs> It'll be more believable if it's you. They'll never believe me. Are you a veteran looking for a VA loan? Mortgage Ride right has been advocating for veterans since their company began. As a veteran-owned, operated company committed to your well-being, they can help you find the best terms available, guide you through every step of the process. Visit their location, Highway 280. You can apply online, mortgageride.com slash TNR, or call 205-815-9200, NMLS 2239, equal housing lender. Um, on a 7-0 run in until that Michigan State bucket was Mississippi State. It's 22-15 Spartans over Mississippi State early on. And uh, Jim Dunaway's uh, Sweet 16 BYU Cougars have started 0 for 1,000. Let's go Dukes! Against Duquesne. An 11 seed Duquesne leads BYU 7 to nothing. BYU started with five perfectly intact noses. One of their starters now has a nose that is in four different pieces, and he's in the lock, locker room right well, I now. I can promise you, they may be 0 for 1,000. They ain't going to quit shooting threes. They are 0 for 1,001 now, and you got a traveling, nope, foul call. Not going to quit shooting. That's all, all right. they do is shoot. We owe you a station identification. <laughs> <laughs> so we cannot do play-by-play. Live looking. 
Um, uh, this is uh, the March Madness as we roll on here. One more segment to go. But later today, we are down at Odie's for a specialty show, 4 to 6. We'll be down there early watching the games. And then a lot of people will be there late throughout the evening. That is the home base tonight to watch Sanford play in the NCAA tournament at 855. Odie's right there in Homewood. We'll be there later today. We're back in a moment right here on TNR. Follow Rockstar on Twitter at RockstarBHM. Tournament time is almost here, but any time is a great time to jump on with MyBookie.ag. When you sign up at MyBookie.ag, use code NEXTROUND for a special sign-on bonus. You can use that bonus right away. Win once with it. It is yours and yours forever. Not like some of the sites that make you win 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times before you keep the bonus. You win once at MyBookie.ag. It is yours forever. Basketball tournaments, NBA, the start of Major League Baseball, NASCAR, and golf. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. MyBookie.ag. Code NEXTROUND. Hang out with the next round on the go. Whether you're driving to work, running errands, sitting on the beach, or you just need a break from the real world, we can keep you company. Check out the next round, Mystery Fifth Hour, and our other shows on your favorite podcast app. We'll meet you there. It's that time of year again. The Legacy Swap and Drop promotion is back. It's bigger than ever. Swap your current auto loan or RV loan to Legacy and drop your interest rate and monthly payment. Don't miss out on this opportunity to save big with our friends at Legacy Credit Union. Not a member yet? That's okay. You too can save by becoming a member today. Head over to SwapAndDrop.com. Apply in minutes. That's SwapAndDrop.com. Or visit one of their nine greater Birmingham area branches. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions may apply. See Credit Union for details. Federally insured by the NCU. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or Michelson and laservision.com. It's that time of year. Hoops, hops, and wings with our friends at Walk-Ons. We're talking about the unbelievable madness of the best viewing and the best food in town. This tournament season, try any of the three local walk-ons in Trustville, Stadium Trace in Hoover, and also the Greystone location. A wonderful menu with original food, great drinks, but most importantly in tournament season, TV's everywhere, so you can keep up with how your bracket's burning. Your home for all the tournament action is Walk-On Sports Bistro. Every day, someone is ridiculed and mocked for the clothing they chose to wear. It's a harsh reality we all must face. But you have the chance to change all of that with one visit to nextround.store. For just a few minutes of browsing, you will observe so many clothing options, from hats to hoodies to t-shirts. Please, for yourself or someone you love, go to nextround.store and embrace the warmth of true attire. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. With you on the next round, final segment of the show being brought to you by our friends at Hemp Hill Services LT. Uh, 205-229-2090. Make sure that unit is ready to keep up with the changing weather. Adam, Chad, Andrew, those guys are going to hook you up. Trust the name Birmingham has trusted since 1954 for all of your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs. For more information, Hemp Hill Services. Dot com. Little tease on her way all the way out to Spokane, Washington. She'll be landing shortly and we'll be having coverage on all of our platforms from YouTube to Instagram to TikTok. Uh, Twitter everywhere, brought to you by our friends at Autograph. We ask you to download the Autograph app in your app store. All you have to do is put in your email address and the promo code TNR, TNR, and then pick your favorite team and enjoy all the content uh, curated from all sorts of sources uh, that follow your teams right there at the Autograph app, code TNR there. Um, Also, Hemphill brings you lanceslock.com. Get the plays there. He's got a free play that's already going. There's a $1,000 game later tonight, and you're 3-1. and one. 
With the play-in games? With the play-in, yeah. Coming off a of three and two last night, five and two the night before. So we're heating up. Jump on board. Uh, seven plays, as you mentioned today, Dunaway. Lance'sLock.com. A QR code in the upper corner there. And uh, probably seven tomorrow and a handful on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, get the plays throughout the tournament. I uh, had a chance to talk with Sam Walters last night, but Rockstar gave me cut five from Alabama basketball. Freshman Sam Walters, who has, I think, gotten better as the year has gone on. There has been a moment, though, his sh- shot has left him. But when they were flying to Spokane, uh, the social media crew at Alabama basketball gave the microphone to Sam Walters, and he started walking around interviewing the teammates mid-flight. Listen in. What's going on, guys? Sam Walters here today. I'm going to be asking the team some questions. Mr. Mark Sears, um, can I ask you a question? Yo. Um, you are my favorite player. The whole Twitter world knows that. So what do you think of Sam Walters' game? Big shot, Sam. He comes through in the clutch. I, I'm not going to lie. I am very excited that Mark Sears actually knows who I am. How did it feel <laughs> to take that charge this morning? Um, I did run you over. I am pretty strong. So how did that feel? Felt like when Brielle runs into me. Right when she's happy to see me and comes up and runs into me, all 70 pounds of her. I took all my anger out on that charge, I'm not going to lie. Mr. Chris Stewart, sir, I have a question for you. What's a couple of tips for me to like improve my game as like if I'm trying to announce games in the future? Say what you see, man. Just say what you see. It's all it is. And it helps if you got guys making buckets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chris, little shot back at yeah, Sam. Yeah. So drain one every now and then. So I had to ask him last night, which broadcaster that you see in basketball over the last few years do you think he uh, thinks he's going to be most like because he wants to go into broadcasting? And then I'll play you the clip coming up on who he says. Uh, tell me it's not Gus. Spiro Didis. <laughs> uh, Kevin Harlan. Uh, <laughs> I like Kevin Harlan. Uh, uh, both of those are not correct answers. Here, who's, this is who Sam Walters thinks he will most – emulate when he becomes a broadcaster after his career do you have a, a desire in the future to be a broadcaster uh yeah that was that was something that that i um, have thought about doing um like after basketball is over um but to be honest i kind of just like doing stuff like that like just messing around with like my teammates and stuff you think you're more jay billa like that a little dicky v maybe when you do this yeah, I mean, I would like I would like to say I'm I'm a little bit of Bill Walton um, as well. He's a he's wow. kind of a kind of a, a guy that likes to make jokes on air. Um, but I mean, Dickie V is obviously obviously a, a great a great uh, commentator. So I don't know if I can compare myself to both of them are great. I, can't, I don't know if I can compare myself to either of them. To be honest. I mean, how many brain cells will he have to lose to get to the Bill Walton level? <laughs> he's got his hair. Yeah, of course, all the kids have that hair. <laughs> Jack's going to see Roni today, and it is it's twice what that is. Uh, I asked him uh, also on the interview, you can see it on our platform, if he had to wear Estrada's hair, Nate Oates' outfit, or Grant Nelson's mustache. Uh, you can go check and see which one of those three he chooses. And you, uh, you may be surprised by his answer there. I know I was. It's on our platform there, and you can check it out. All right, score update. State, Michigan State is back out to an 11-point lead on Mississippi State, 29-18. But... Uh, it's already down to 150 to go in the first yeah, half. Yeah, State's going to struggle to get into the 20s uh, in the first half, Lance, which is exactly – Mississippi State is, which is exactly what Michigan State wants you to do. Yeah, or look, what I mean, both wants you to do. really good defensive teams. Yeah. I mean, the shocker early is six minutes in. BYU's got a bucket against Duquesne. And watching Duquesne over the weekend win the A-10, they were not even close to sniffing the bubble. Uh, that got them in, and they played that tournament possessed. They're playing possessed right now, yeah. at least in the first six minutes. 12 yeah. 2 in that contest. BYU is the classic example of a team that, uh, on offense at least, lives and dies by the three, and they are dying by it right now. They cannot get anything to go down. Yeah. Uh, again, they lead the nation in three point uh, baskets attempted. And uh, Sweet until, 16 for me, or is it the other way? Until just now, they had not made one. And as Lance said, we're almost halfway through the first half. Yeah, that's a big game for me. You think? Yeah, even though it's only 1.2 points early on, you can recover, but you don't want to fall behind early on. I don't want, to, I don't want that, uh, that stink of being down the leaderboard tomorrow uh, to be on me going into the weekend. Do you yeah. like getting off to fast starts? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I like fast starts. I like fast finishes, good finishes. <laughs> I mean, it's more important. Um, fast, anything. fast finishes. But I am pulling important. for Duquesne. I've got BYU advancing, but just because you got them in the Sweet 16, I'll uh, pull for the Dukes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Appreciate that, my friend. All right, final thoughts today away from basketball. You guys are all watching the game. We'll be down at Odie's later on. Uh, yesterday on the flip side of Clemson suing the ACC to get out, the ACC has now countered sued Clemson. They did the same thing to Florida <laughs> State, trying to keep them there. Did a little more research into why yeah. Clemson and Florida State won out. Uh, by the way, the numbers are the, the newly agreed to college football playoff, which is newly agreed to. The SEC and the Big Ten gets 29% of the revenue. The ACC will get 17% of the revenue. The Big 12 is getting 14% of the revenue. Uh, that's about a 7 to $10 million difference per school uh, in the ACC. But the bigger picture is when you factor in the TV deal that the ACC is under through 2036 and the one the Big Ten and the SEC has, Big Ten and SEC schools will be getting somewhere between 80 and $90 million a year. Yep. And Clemson, Florida State, and the ACC schools will be getting about $45 million a year. So almost double as much money in the SEC and the Big Ten per year than what the ACC will be getting. And Florida State and Clemson just feels like we will not be able to keep up making well, half the money. They well, won't. again, the landing spots will be interesting if they do break away from the ACC. Royal Payne saying he heard somebody say Clemson to the Big Ten is a realistic thing. I mean, Big Ten, for whatever reason, still really cares about those academics. Is Clemson a good academic school? I have no In idea. In my head, no. Yeah, I would say no, too, but I, I don't know. I don't know if you've said this on the show yet, Jim. And maybe we can get into it away from the NCAA tournament. But I've heard the same thing you have heard, and I looked into it a little bit after you said it too. And I'm, I think North Carolina would be the school they need to recruit if they could get North Carolina in on this. You got some people's attention. Lynchpin. Yep. Uh, North Carolina wants out. The ACC is done. That's when ESPN really starts to pay attention, and then they become active in this. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, under 59 was a Paul bet on the first half of that Michigan State, Mississippi State. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations, Paul, on what we like to call the early winner. Tom says Hubbard is heating up there. By the time you hear this on the replay, we'll know the results. We'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll see you at Odie's this afternoon. It's game day for Sanford, so we're going to their backyard. Odie's in Homewood. Thank you to Champy's Chicken. Thank you, Sterling, for bringing food. We're about to go enjoy a full plate of that right now. Until next time, God bless you and God bless America.